Hello. <laughs> My mic on mute. Hello. Oh, it's a bit loud. Hi. Good afternoon. I, I had to reset my whole audio setup because for some reason it decided to break, but I hope it's all fine. I hope it works. <laughs> Please don't inflate me. I, I would pop. <laughs> I hate how that's someone's kink and it's it just, it's vile. It's, it, it upsets me greatly. No hate, but don't do that. <laughs> Simply don't do that. How are we doing? Hello. Exciting. It's the full final dial town this time. We're going to play the, the whole rest of the game. I don't care how long it takes me. Could be 15 minutes. Could be five hours. Actually, if it's any longer than that, I will go to bed. But <laughs> it probably won't be that long. I'm assuming it's probably going to be in about three, three-ish more hours. I hope. Whatever. We'll have a stream. It'll be however long. No custard? Uh, refund. <laughs> I'll dono nut. Distressing. I haven't had a donut in so long, bro. I'm hungry. <laughs> How are we doing? How are we doing? Aside from the the nutless dough. Which is a tragedy. A true tragedy. I woke up at midnight last night. And I stayed up all night. And I was very productive. But I was very tired, so... <laughs> I uh, I went to bed at like nine in the morning, and I woke up a few hours ago. So I'm feeling pretty refreshed. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty spicy. Have you eaten? I uh, I had some cereal. So <laughs> and I did throw out the several months old cream. So <laughs> so I think we're slightly less biohazardous than we were before. Not great, but. Slightly better. <laughs> oh, so you won't talk about inflation, but you'll talk about nutless dough. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. And exciting. We hit 200 followers. That's great. Yay. <laughs> so now we're going for 250. Um, <laughs> we hit it while I was offline. I couldn't even celebrate. Oh, you know what? Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these to celebrate. Where are they? That one's already popped. I don't know why I have a popped one. Let's do a little celebratory. Let's see if this thing actually works. Nope, it just fell out. It just fell out. <laughs> Let's try another one. Hang on. Let's try again. Let's try again. Whew. That one worked. And now we have string. They're so underwhelming, but... So so fun nonetheless. <laughs> you two one. I'm aware of that. I this thing doesn't update very well. Um, I'll go fix it after the stream again. But it just it doesn't work very well. <laughs> no offense to the widget makers, but not a very functional widget. But hey, oh, it works. It's there. So it only seems to update when I'm live. But maybe it doesn't actually because it did update to 200 while I wasn't. No, I reset that. Yeah, I don't know if that's what I'm live, I'm pretty sure. Which is weird, but whatever. I don't have to pay for it, so I won't complain about it. Anyway, should we get into Dialtown? Should we finish this game? Now, I'm, I'm a little unsure. I hope I saved properly last time. I can't remember doing it, but I very frequently can't remember doing things that I did do, so. We're gonna, we're gonna hope. We're gonna hope that that's the case. How's the audio? Is that alright? Is that a little loud? I don't know. It's a little loud for me, actually. I've been listening to that the whole time. It's a little nice opening song, but it's I've been listening to it the entire time we've been live, and it's starting to grate on my nerves. <laughs> let's uh, let's see if we can get in. Uh, oh yeah, so what did we even do last time? We met, we met Norm, who has a flesh head, but wears a bag for some reason. Um, who lives in the woods and has a gun. And also he was an astronaut and time traveled through a black hole or something. Uh, oh yeah, Mingus exiled us because we were annoying, I guess. Um, and now they're all working against us. But uh, I forget our current goal, but that's sort of vaguely what happened, I guess. <laughs> T. <laughs> 
he he. What was that? That was scary. Hello? <laughs> also, I just noticed the wanted poster of me. <laughs> it's I look so buff. That's great. <laughs> that's the best that's the best summary I can give Magic Emmas. I don't know if I can um explain it any better. This is Norm. Meet Norm. He wants to kill the he wants to kill the mayor. He wants to kill Mayor Mingus. And initially I was for that, but then Oliver said some stuff and changed my mind. So do you donuts still TTS? In theory! In theory they do. <laughs> Whether they're still broken, I don't know. I tried to fix them. Where is it? Where's what? The link might be wrong at the about, actually. That's a good point. The Dono TTS? What do you mean, where is it? Hello? What do you mean? <laughs> you donoed? Um. Uh oh. Why didn't it show up? Oh no. They were working last time. No, the, um, the sub alert was working. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. I regret switching to anything else other than Streamlabs. <laughs> it was so easy and now it's all broken. Oh, I'll, I'll... Did I get it? I don't even think I did. I don't think it's even gone through. Are you sure it went through? Because I don't even see it in my activity feed or anything, so... Maybe that's why it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't got it, so... Thanks, but I guess, but I, I, can't, I can't respond to it because it doesn't seem to exist, so... That might be a, a your-end problem, rather than a my-end one, because I'm, I'm they were working last stream. Anyway, back to back to this situation. So about the mayor's cat head. Oh god, I have to do Texas again. It's for so long. It's fine. <sighs> Deep breaths. For the last time, I told you, I don't know why in Tarnation she wouldn't got the that asinine procedure done to herself. Other than her grandpappy happening to have a cat that looked the exact same as she does now. The connection's lost on me. It just doesn't make sense, you know. I would like to be a, a cat. Hmm, no, I'm gonna get called a cat boy now. What possible normality plan could allow her to be in Dialtown, but not us? That's a good point. She does technically have a flesh head. Did I say that last stream? I fucking did, but... She's a bigoted, bushy-tailed bandit partner. She's a nut job, Plain and simple. Train. Good lord, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Trying to understand someone like her will just leave you with a sore noggin. What are we doing rambling around down here, anyhow? If we want to avoid getting detected, surely we'd want to avoid passing through places where we might get spotted by prime pedestrians, right? You're already a cat boy. How dare you? First of all, how dare you? I'm a bird boy. <laughs> Second of all, okay, you're right. Oh, relax. You think we'll find anyone down here at this time of night? I mean, Roderick Christ, this place tends to be deserted enough before rat hour hits. Rat hour. Do not explain to me what rat hour is. But you didn't even ask. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna know. Alright, alright, baby. Coward. Accept the rats into your life. <laughs> the trains are so intense. What did he say? What did you say? Oh, he did dot dot dot. Hmm. You know, I'm surprised the cesspit trains even run this late at night. Oh, they run 24-7. I honestly don't think this place has, a sing has even a single human worker left at this point. They can't be, right? Who's operating the trains, then? Robots. Or ghosts, maybe. They've figured out self-driving trains. Maybe they'll actually be on time. That's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, I said or, not and. Now both. Both would be ridiculous, alright. Robots possessed by ghosts. I think it's a fun concept. Okay, forget me apparently asking about subway specters and such. A more apt question might be... Why not just walk to the fun fair and just stick to the back alleys and such? That way we'd avoid dealing with wheeled automatons or extra-worldly vehicular visitors. 
Uh, but alas, I would have to walk. Oh, I fixed the commands, they work now. Well, they should at least. But enjoy your assignment. Complete it, or else. Well, the fun person on the outskirts of town, that's a long walk. That's a right sorry, to, sorry place to put your town's amusements, ain't it? Land's expensive in the city, man. I'll live in a tent in the park for a reason, bucko. Tell me about it. See, it does work. See, I did fix it. I am a genius. Lord, to build a functional amusement park in the city. Your roller coasters probably have to go through the mayor's office. And who'd want to ride a coaster that ends up with, within scratching distance of... I'm sorry, but did you just say that you live in a tent at the... Shut up. The exposition's been established. Move on. I've never gone camping. Hmm. Yeah, I just think it didn't go through here, me, is the problem. Right, with any luck, one of these trains should start for us soon enough. Shh. What was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? It's it's getting closer. Hello? No, it it couldn't be. Partner? I haven't an inkling of what you're Oh, it's him! <laughs> it's Billy. <laughs> Encounter. Oh god, oh fuck. <laughs> Billy's back, bozos! Who in tarnation? Little Billy. My arch nemesis. Hang on, I thought I was Fezzy's arch nemesis. Oh yeah, actually, that sounds that, that sounds correct. In that case, I just think you're a fucking dick, then. Shriner, do you really have to use such vulgar language around kids? Yes, yes I do. So, you think that's vulgar, huh? Oh, good lord. Billiam! How jolly that you. Okay, never mind, that was a whole lot of slurs. <laughs> At least the words I happened to recognize were all slurs. Shriner did... Did you teach those words to the children of Dalltown? They can't prove anything. What, you think I didn't invent half those words, huh? I think again, you bagged bozo. Why are you? These accents are actually easy to switch between the last two. Oh, wait, hang on just a minute. What in tarnation is a krungus, anyhow? It's my pride and- It's my pride and- Nope, <laughs> he's becoming Texas. I, I lied, I was wrong. It's my pride and joy, bucko. The Emperor Slur. The word that will be uttered by the one and only Colossal Billy to mark the end of days. What? is this? First the two weapon-headed goons, and now you? Don't tell me the mayor started some kind of villainous league to conspire against me and Shriner. Hate to tell you this, buddy, but... Listen, the public loves to make villainous leagues against me. I gotta say, it's a common occurrence. A common problem. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. She named it the Mingling. That's the best y'all could come up with? Hey, I didn't name the stupid thing. I'm just here for the perks, man. Okay, can we hurry this along, I guess, then? Yeah, this is the only second- This is only the second encounter we've had to deal with thus far, and it's already getting old. In fairness, the first one was a two-for-one offer. I miss those guys. They were fun. Honestly, no exaggeration, exaggeration here. Those two fools aged me prematurely. I am aged, Norm. I'm- I'm over 20 years old. They're gonna put me in the DNIs. <laughs> okay, so this- this- ugh. Food- uh, egg and noodle? Obviously you should. The classic. The classic egg and noodle moment. With the spices. Okay, so this is- so here's how this is gonna go down, bozos. I can read. I'm gonna hock tie you both with licorice and then drag you straight to the mayor's office. I like licorice. I know people are gonna be for me about that. Knowing me, I'll likely make a game of it and try to drag these over as much of the broken glass on the pavement as I can. Pog. Pog shop. You're one frightening child, ain't you? Funny. The mayor trusts a little real child to drag us to her, but not the other two. I would trust Zol Billy with my villainous plans. Well, duh. Unlike those two bozos, I'm cut out for actual crime. <laughs> kill him? <laughs> would he kill the child? <laughs> I want to choose that to see if he would. 
No, I don't want to kill little Billy. He's humorous. He's humorous to me. Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm shocked someone like you would get on so well with someone like Mingus. Hey, we agree on what that is. Namely, the fact that you have to grip life by the balls and squeeze till they bleed and then you get your pocket money. Hey, he's not wrong. H have you just been running the muck the whole time that I spent stewing in my shack? I can't believe you, Billy. How low you've sunk in? Working for law and order? Working for the man? Why was the sunk so small? The sunk it. Or more accurately, for an intolerant tabby. Working for law and order? Pal, the mayor's the biggest crook in this whole cesspit of a town. She's still the mayor, though. Wait, are we meant to be in conflict about something? I agree with literally every word the devil child just said. Well, of course, you can see it too. You have eyes, don't you? Just the two... Just the two God Almighty gave me. <laughs> you got your eyes from God? Yikes, sucks to be you then. If I were you, I'd get a pair of those cheap bootleg eyes shambled together at a sweatshop by someone my age. Far better quality control. Explain yourself, little Billy. I still don't get why you're doing all this. What on earth do you want political leverage for? You have no agenda, you only want to see the world burn. Well, anarchy is a valid political standpoint. Oh, but that's exactly what I have my figurative eye on, my green friend. Complete and total immunity. I can skateboard wherever I want, burn whatever I want, maim whoever I'm so desire. What? What's what's a whom? No, oh, you won't stand a chance once I have that cat in my pocket. Same goes for those green internal organs of yours, Bozo. Hey, you don't know the green on the inside. You haven't checked. Could be purple in there. Honestly, I've been shot at by folks who are much less alarming than you, Runt. Hey now, flattery won't get you out of this jam, Sheriff Suckup. Hang on. Norm, I have an idea. And what might that be? Shoot him. Shoot him now. Are you kidding me? Oh. I'm sorry. Did I offend you? Huh? No. He's a kid, Shriner. He's evil. But please don't shoot him. I, I enjoy his presence. He's no child. He's a pint-sized demon. I've seen him down seagulls with a slingshot from 20 yards. He's ab absolutely wretched, Norm. Shoot him. Now. Shriner, you know I can't. Oh. So you'll snag the mare, but spare little Billy. This little runt's only a half pint. He doesn't know any better. Oh, he knows better. <laughs> he knows exactly how much harm he does, Norm. He's despicable. Despicable me. He's a minion. You're talking like a madman, partner. Nah, bro, it's right. In fairness, I am pretty deplorable. Little Billy definitely plays Among Us. Alright, kid, I'm gonna state this as concisely as I possibly can. If you don't leave us the hell alone, you're gonna find yourself with a belly full of lead. Are we clear? Oh, as if I'd lose a mark like Froggy McGee and you pistol-packing pops. Froggy McGee. Do you have any idea how high your bounty bounties are, huh? It's not the poster, right? <laughs> For the first time ever, you two are wanted, Sticky. Wait, am I Sticky because you know... Or is... Wait, what? Wait, am I sticky because, you know, or is sticky norm because of his sticky note face? Uh, that was a very difficult read among these nuts. Thank you, Magic Chemist. Thank you, Magic Chemist, for your insightful contribution. Among your mother. Sure. Besides, why would I give you two up? I know you don't have the balls to drop me, cowboy. You said so yourself. Perhaps not, perhaps not. Though I could just hand my pistol to my buddy Shriner over here, you know. I do not know how to fire a gun, Norm. If it's a BB gun, I can figure that out. <laughs> but I've never shot a real gun. <laughs> It'll shoot you dead in a heartbeat. I have no reservations. It's true, my index finger's already clenching in anticipation. Well, shit. <laughs> you know what? Fuck this. I'm like the mayor, I know not to bother with shit that's more trouble than it's worth. I'm out loud in the kitchen. Hi, hear me, household. 
these nuts. Sex balls. <laughs> what did you expect? What did you expect? <laughs> hey, I'll just go watch intensely gory videos to get my anger out. Nice, that's something non-serial killers in the making do. Yeah, yeah, fine. Just go. C can they still pew pew? He's leaving peacefully. Let him go. Alas. No. I've infected your house. The echoes will resound the next time someone enters the kitchen. As if you'd have the balls to shoot me anyway, Greeny. Oh, I have the balls. Nor my beg of thee. The pistol. I require it. Nah, I'll let him return to his shitty leader and tell her of his failure. Punch the child. <laughs> Watch out, little kid. You're within punting distance. Failure. Hey, hey, hey. This is only the beginning for me, Bozo. Once I scrap the whole mercenary shtick, I'll just lobby the government to get my way like a fast food giant or an oil company that drowns pel pelicans in crude oil. Way easier for me. Peace out, Bozos. Billy. I'd adopt him. Man. That is one scary child. <laughs> Go, get! <laughs> Did you kill him? <laughs> huh, you know, I thought you were a better shot than that. I never miss. I was just deterring the lad like when I take pot shots at rogue raccoons that wander over to my garbage can. Over to my garbage can or at unwanted taxmen. <laughs> you don't shoot any and all taxmen that approach you? If you don't, at least. Ugh. If you don't let him go back on and tell his boss all about how he stole the britches when you shot at him, they'll just send another. Very good point. Report. Man, hasn't anyone ever taught that kid about hail? <laughs> Does Daltown not have any churches these days? Oh, king. <laughs> there is no god here. Well, there is, but he's a dog. Yes, you can hear me. Yes, you can. Most churches in town are only registered as such for tax reasons. Like our local, it ain't a sin if you put your crumbs in the bin, donut store. This place makes me sick to my stomach. You you do the exclamation mark, give away, and then the exclamation mark, enter. You follow the instructions. We do have one real church that I know of, but... Well, word in the playground is that Billy has an eternal band there. I don't explain things. You have to figure them out. Eternal? You mean a lifetime ban, surely. No, no, it's eternal. Applies to his corpse, too. The priest terrified that Billy arranged to get his casket booby-trapped if slash when he dies. It's in the title of the stream! Exclamation mark giveaway. <laughs> None of you can read. <laughs> and like, sneak a cannon in there that shoots raw meat at the congregation. Why well, did I say it like that? Or, you know, set up the funeral buffet food to look like tiny toothpicked chunks of himself. Simply not be on mobile. He's in. So I guess the priest ain't banking on the little varmint suddenly seeing the light then, eh? Oh boy, no. Priest said that kid's a lost cause, whatever that means. See, he's on the mobile, but he figured it out. <laughs> Jesus never Jesus never called even one of the sinners he met a lost cause, for the record. Right. But Jesus never met little Billy. <laughs> Jesus was never forced to use the word swanicide once in his entire life. Did you dare even have swans back then? They evolved. If little Billy was around back then, nowhere would have swans left, Norm. Alright, alright, you convince me. Enough talk of the ominous dwarf. That's a good phrase, ominous dwarf. I think that's a problem with your phone, hear me. Say, how often do the trains tend to stop at the station? Next one should be stopping right now. Convenient. If 
very convenient timing. Why is the train so ominous? How in tarnation did you echo a location? Forget it. Let's just board the train and be done with it. I really don't like subways. They're very upsetting to me. Mingus. What do you mean they got away? What part of that sentence didn't you get? I understood the sentence. I. How on earth did you let them get away? Oh, easy. The cowboy was holding the gun and I wasn't. You know, because someone decided not to give me. Don't you dare. We both know that with a gun, you'd be an astronomically greater threat to my perfect society reforms than those two clowns ever were. Never accuse me of being a clown again. You're right, I totally would be. Either way, they're on the way to the fun fair right now. So, nothing has changed much aside from you somehow looking like even more of an incompetent hack than you did before. Damn, get a rest. Billy, I mean this in the nicest possible way. I'm going to club you to death with a fucking hammer now. Right. Except you can't do that. I can, and in fact, I'm currently probing the immediate vicinity for the nearest hammer. Your dog is pig. Congratulations. But I have information. Alright, you know the stick, half pint. Spill the beans or I'm going to show God what your beating heart looks like. That is a thread. <laughs> wow, I'm going to use that. <laughs> I'm honestly just curious to see if he really has one. I'm half expecting like a miniature limestone obelisk that says something akin to I died for the bants on it instead. <laughs> She's a pug. Close. That's why she onkin. So basically the cowboy's plan to fill you with bullet holes once they arrive at the fun fair and see that the hobgoblin's wretched offspring is missing. Huh. Alright, now I can take out a loan. Now can I take out a loan to start an oil company? I want to kill pelicans with crude oil. Are you serious? You're asking me this right after you alert me to an assassination plot? So is that a yes? Yes, obviously I'm going to give you the loan. Now get out. Damn. Let the adults and God discuss this. Man, you went from having a cryptid eating your trash to playing target practice with a sheriff that time forgot. You should have just taken a leaf from God's book and done nothing today. Always a winning strategy. You don't understand. I had to get rid of it to recreate the post... Motivations unlocked? What's going on with you, Mingus? Hmm? I... This, this is fine. We know they're coming here, so... I can set an ambush. No. A trap. They are the same thing. Put a bucket above the door filled with scorpions, perhaps? I think I'm immune to those. Uh-huh, and what if they break in through a window? There goes your scorpion bucket over the door plan. Then I'll... I'll just scorpion bucket trap every possible entry point, then. Man, with all due respect, I've seen the contents of your scorpion drawer. You've got enough scorpions to fill, like, three buckets tops. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> ah, shit. He's right. Ooh, berate Abel or ask God for ideas. What should we do? I do kind of want to <laughs> yell at this guy. He's very... <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Fine then, Abel. What's your stellar suggestion then, huh? How do you pr propose we repel the gun-toting maniac that's out for my blood? Well, we could just hide under the desk and hope they won't find us cowering under there. See, I like that idea. Ma'am, can I borrow the stunted one to scream pillow? I want to nap under the desk. He left his scream pillow behind? Sad. Sad to see. No. The last thing we need is for them to make their way inside, find us asleep under there, and to dump the contents of my scorpion drawer onto me. Well, that's your fault for having a scorpion drawer, bro. Well, you know, just shoot you. Well, yes, if they truly loathe showmanship. Hang on, nope, I've got it. God's figured it out. Send me. <gasps> the god. The god plot. Well, that's enough from God for tonight. 
Really, I'm being serious and whatnot. Send me. I'll deal with those two scallywags. How on earth would you succeed when the small demonic one had no chance? Well, I'm God for a start. All I have to do is turn the bullets and the yeehaw man's gun into gravy, and then, what do you know? Threat of use. You can... You can do that? I mean, he's God, so... What gravy, though? No clue? Maybe? I'm a little rusty, but I created the universe, didn't I? Hell, I'm sure I could drop them off in some kind of pocket dimension. I'd love to see those two figure out a way to get one of those... Ugh, I'd love to see those two figure out a way out of one of those cesspits without my help. <laughs> so you can be somewhat useful to me, aside from using that toasty keister of yours. Yeah, like, watch this. <laughs> I'm very powerful. Except God in heart, there is no choice. <laughs> I guess we accept God. Accept God in heart. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, alright. I'll cut you a deal, trash hound. You imprisoned the fugitives and I'll pay you what I would have paid Stabby, Shooty, and the Scary Half Point had they succeeded. What, money? Two egg? Two whole egg? Damn. Rich moment. Yes, obviously I mean money. A vast amount of it, too. How's about you just throw an omelette on top of the rest of the dog food you promised me for a job well done and we'll call it a day? Small eggs are... I see. Hobo, I am the supreme ruler of Dialtown. I can grant you anything your houndish heart desires, no matter how opulent or decadent the request. Titles, land, riches, untold power. It can all be yours. I mean, he's got it. He can just make that. Nah, that omelette's good. I'm seeing Mikey tomorrow, and that boy sure loves his omelettes. Who is Mikey? Ooh, fresh egg. Let's go. Fresh egg moment. What in the fresh egg is this? You... Why not just ask for two omelettes so you each get one? Nah, we'll share. You'll be lucky if I don't season the omelette with... The omelette? <laughs> the omelette with rice in at this point. I'd prefer if you didn't, if me and him are sharing. Mikey's allergic to poison. Fine, fine, just go. Contain those two meandering fools, and the omelette you crave shall be yours. Heh, <laughs> nice. Damn. Yeah. I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably still have people out for an omelette. Right, here we are, the outskirts of town. Kinda peaceful out here. Reminds me a little of my homestead. Minus the glowing neon amusements in the background, I suppose. Huh. Told you, told you that not, ugh. Why? It gets like 10 minutes into the stream and I just fail to be able to read anything ever again. Huh. I told you that not all of Dialtown is such a rotten place. Right, because there ain't anybody around these parts save for us. My tenant's pretty much the same. Wait, idea. I want to know what the idea is. Nope, I am not moving into your tent with you, partner. <laughs> oh, that was the idea. <laughs> oh, come on, it'd be fun. It would not be fun. Eternal slumber party. You said your tent's over in the park, right? Yeah, it is. Why? I don't think I can resist the urge to shoot every swan I see. I would not be mad about that. Vicious bastards. Oh, man. Randy's gonna love you. <gasps> We're going to see Randy soon! Oh, I've missed him so much. I miss him every day. Who's Randy? He's a friend of mine and a formal, former mortal nemesis to Swankind. Oh, oh, and you're about to meet him. For a green scoundrel, you sure are well connected, aren't you? I get around, bro. I get around. <laughs> I like helping people. Okay, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, it's good that you do, but that just makes all of this all the more rotten. If you're genuinely a good Samar Samaritan, it makes the mayor all the more despicable for tossing you to the curb. Truly, truly. What would this town be without me, honestly? It's not Randy or anyone else's fault that the mayor did that to us. Partner. If ordinary folks let bigotry reign supreme and just watch you get mistreated without lifting a finger, don't you, think, don't you think they're at least somewhat complicit in your mistreatment? No. 
Not in this case, I think. <laughs> Malif Malice triumphs when good folks just look on. Right, but Karen and Oliver helped us out. Alright, those two may have assisted us, granted. And Randy's gonna help us too. You really think so? I know so. Now come on. Randall's awaiting. Oh, Randy. My boy. So much for him awaiting us. He ain't even there. Randy, where are you? Oh, he's asleep in the booth. He sleeps in there. Not a very good employee, is he? Sleeping on the job. Oh, you misunderstand. He isn't on the job right now. He sleeps at work. Partner, I don't mean this in a mean sort of way, but... I reckon if the human ancestor that sprouted legs and crawled out the ocean knew that the efforts had result in Randy's life being a thing... <laughs> I honestly reckon he'd have crawled back into the ocean and gnawed its own legs off just in case he changed his mind and wanted to give Evolve another, another go later on. <laughs> Damn, bro. Don't do Randy like that. He's fine. Hey now, a year ago he slept in a dumpster. Listen, he's on the rise, okay? Listen, he's doing great. In like, on like a, a, a level scale, right? <laughs> he's gone, he's gone significantly higher than he used to be. Huh. Well that's progress, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna need to wake him up. Oh, that's easy. I know just how to wake him up. Just be careful, he's kind of skittish, and the slightest- I knew he was gonna do that. <laughs> Gah, the wars, the wars, eh? Shriner? And the cowboy? Phone Lord, I, I haven't seen you in a whole year, I, What are you doing here? Hey man, <laughs> yo, we kinda need a favor. Oh, but first meet Norm. Norm, Randall, Randall, Norm. Uh, hey, I... Uh, say, what's with the paper bag over your head, friend? Wait, are you also trying to conceal your hideous face from the world? Didn't work for me. People said they could still smell my virginity through the bag. <laughs> Please, see your gibbering and jabbering, partner. You're bumming me out. <laughs> that's, not, that's not why he's hiding his face. He's a normie, Randy. I told you not to call me. Wait, really? In the flesh? Head? Huh. I, I didn't know that. Um. That your type were uh, allowed to be here and dialed down. Nah, I was exiled from town years ago, just like your green buddy was last spring. I don't know if I should be more afraid that you're a normie or, or a cowboy. I've had a few bad erotic experiences with the Yeehaw men, you know? <laughs> what does that mean, Randy? What does that mean, Randy? <laughs> what do you mean by that? My my dear sweet boy, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't know whether to chastise you for implying that you should be afraid of normies. Or question how you've somehow managed to grow a sexual distaste for cowboys given how few of us are moseying on around these parts. Wait. Before you do decide whether or not you wish to chastise or interrogate me. Did I mishear what you said, or did you say that Shriner was also exiled from Dowtown? <laughs> they didn't know? What's wrong with boning a cowboy? I mean, <laughs> that's what I want to know, bro. <laughs> yeah, you see, Randy? It all starts with a tantalizing green breakfast. This'll go smoother if I explain this all again. Several minutes of barely comprehensible frantic explanation later. Uh huh. Frankly, I also would have eaten the green breakfast a year ago before I managed to land a job that allowed me to actually buy my own food. Oh, tell me about it, bro. Food made smile. Is it green? Probably would have uh, picked the syringes out of it first, though. They had, they had, fl <laughs> they had flavor. <laughs> what? Why did you say exactly what I'm gonna say? Oh, I guess I have to say it. <laughs> no, it's orange. Oh, disappointing. Yeah, and that flavor is plastic. So, uh, on a more relevant note, what is it that you two need from me? We need to enter the fun fair. Gotta check if my eggs are all right. Oh, my eggs, my babies. Oh, that's no problem. You two can go right in. Let me know when you need me to open the gate. How, di how, how could you? Not even green eggs in this day and age. You hate to see it. 
a tragedy, honestly. You know we don't have any money, right? Well, Shriner doesn't. The bills in my wallet have phoneless presidents on them, which I doubt your boss would accept. He still has those after all these years? Damn, that's ancient relics, bro. Green eggs and ham. Hey, it's all good. Shriner never has money. <laughs> it's true. It eats gravel and lives in a tent made yards from a swan infested pond, so that's kind of a given, you know. <laughs> it eats what? Crunchy. But I owe Shriner. Oof. The text is just infects every other voice I have to do. <laughs> Vegulous. A vegulous moment. This is not this is not Sigma behavior, hear me. Eat the red fruits. You need the green, bro. You need the green. It got me this job. Saved me from living in a literal dumpster. If it hadn't pushed me to go for this job, well... I never would have realized that I deserve better. It does not disturb me. You know how I eat, hear me. Nothing disturbs me anymore. Aside from just the existence of tomatoes, I just think tomatoes are a vile fruit. I'd probably be incredibly dead by now in all honesty, lying, lying face down in the pond being pecked at by ravenous waterfowl. All oh, while well, a hotline customer is still on the line asking me if I'm feeling randy tonight. Alright, I only got some of that, but it all sounded immensely hellish. Your dad used to do that with tomatoes? I don't mind the, the method of eating, I just think tomatoes are a vile object, and that they should not exist. You have my sympathy, partner. Th thanks, but I don't need that anymore. Thanks to Shriner. I've had time to heal. Heal. Wait. Randy, your handages, they're gone. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice his hands are fine. Oh, Randy. Since I don't have to wrangle hostile feathered sh shredder dinos every day, my hands have time to heal too, I guess. He's smooth handed. You don't know how much of a difference you've made in my life, Shriner. I never would have stopped feeling sorry for myself or realized that my happiness is in my own, my own hands without you. <laughs> Big fan. It's hard to see through the glass, okay? Jeez, is there anyone in downtown that you haven't helped, partner? This is starting to get borderline ridiculous. Norm, do you need helping? I'm very good at that. Hey, it's no coincidence, Norm. They even gave me a new head for my bandage. N normally I presume that you said those two words the wrong way around, but I've seen weirder things today. Oh, yeah, no, I, I was always messing up my greeting at the, uh... Here's a fun fact. The first thing that I ever said to Shriner was an immediate fuck up. <laughs> Set the bar at an appropriately low level the moment I began talking. And you know what? I love him for that. I love him for that. And still, Shriner gifted me my new bandage. Made me feel like a sweetheart. Aww. Aww. Every day I tried to live life, de life decisively. To live up to the bandage's expectations. Th they say you gotta fake it till you make it after all. What I'm saying is, Shrana doesn't give up on people. I'm beginning to understand that now. Yeah. He's right about himself, you know. It's safe to hope again, Norm. I promise. Aw, that's sweet. Alright, alright. Enough of the mushy stuff. Uh, I suppose you've given me a lot to think about. Come on, let's just go tend to those eggs of yours, alright? <laughs> right, let's do it. I'm not going to meet the norm. <laughs> Yet. Good, honestly, good for Randy. You know what? I'm genuinely very happy for him. I know he's a fake video game character, but I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him, and I'm happy for him. We did good, guys. We did good. Go right on inside, fellas. Gates open when you're ready to go. Will do. It was a pleasure to meet you, Randy. Thank you kindly for the wisdom, friend. Happy trails. Hey, it's no problem. I hope you two find what you're looking for. Randy, I miss him already. Oh, my boy. Fuck, where are the eggs? <laughs> They're exactly what I'm looking for. Sat's been disturbed. Hang on just a moment. Is that a sticky note? Let me see here. Those are some intense noises. 
<laughs> Those were really some noises. How did they record that? What tarn? Why'd you just do that? Three slices of cheese. Of course I ate it. There was rat on it, partner. Context. Oh, context. I eat context for breakfast, quite literally. Now we'll never get to know what it said. Well, if they wanted us to read the words, then uh, maybe they shouldn't have written what they had to say on a slice of cheese. I really do what? I really do what? What? What are you saying to me right now? You're a goddamn ingrate. You... Wait, hold it for a jiffy. Eat context? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I immediately forgot what I said after I said it, so I could not remember the context of what you were responding to. What did you assume I have my face scrawled on? Well, it could be cheese, in fairness. Which allures me. But you're also armed with a real gun. So I was just planning to wait till you blinked so I can lick it and find out. You're just a fleshy phone with a green pumpkin hanging off it, I swear to god. Ha, nice try, but pumpkins aren't green. Okay, granted, the rotten ones are. Besides, what kind of clown would make the protagonist of a, ga of a game of theirs orange? I'm sure that's a reference to something, but... What game? Hey, Palos. What's the haps? No, oh, speak of the devil. Or rather, speak of the god. Norm me god. God norm. Howdy, partner. Mighty fine day, eh? Heh. <laughs> Learn how to talk like a cowboy from Mikey. Uh, are you serious? I mean to believe that this fellow is god. I'm a god-fearing Christian, you know. And here's god for you to fear. Do you honestly think I'd be gullible enough to- Hey, you don't need to be afraid of me, man. I'm as chill as I come. Oh, wait. Eh, uh, shit, I misspoke. You actually should be very much afraid of me. Sorry, my bad. I'm not used to being an active threat. <laughs> What's up, God? What has you feeling all aggressive today? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, the mayors are looking for you too. Really? The mayor hired you, hired you to come and retrieve us? Yeah, and boy, she must have been a special kind of desperate to have turned to me of all people. Why are you doing this, Godman? Surely you've got other stuff to do with your time. You're better than this. No, I'm really not. Yeah, you got me there. Lord, it's like watching a preschooler negotiate with a particularly crafty stray dog. That was a hard sentence for me to read. <laughs> you know, God, I never pegged you as the mercenary type, in all honesty. You know, God, I never pegged you. Really, it seems like too much effort for you. Well, yeah, normally it would be, sure. But, would you believe it? She offered me an entire omelette in exchange for me bringing you two fellas there. I'm seeing Mikey tomorrow. I'm gonna look like a big shot for the boy. Who is Mikey? We see Mikey. <sighs> big shots all have omelettes, right? Shriner. I'm having those murderous thoughts of mine again. Thanks for the heads up, Norm. Oh, by the way. Hey, God, have you seen my eggs? Oh, yeah, sure. Whoops, I didn't see that. Whatever. It, I said something. Mingus told me to ask you where you think she's getting the eggs from my omelette from. The fridge, I would think. Omelette bottom tier food? I haven't had an omelette since I was like 12, I think. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't know if you can eat noodles. I don't know if dogs are able to eat noodles. I'm not entirely familiar with the diets of dogs. I've never owned one. Oh, right. Yeah, that's uh, exactly where I would have assumed she'd dug around from too. Right here. Right, right. Sorry. I can't read. Yeah, no. So she's gonna cook your unhatched babies. N no, that's like five omelets worth of egg though. What's wrong with omelet? I don't know. Maybe I haven't had one in such a long time that I'm not sure that I know why I don't like them anymore. But I think it was probably the texture. Yeah, weird texture. I think that's probably why I didn't like them. Maybe I should try them again. I don't know. What's she gonna do with the other four? She said she's gonna slap the rest of them into a big old pot and make herself a massive po' boy's gumbo. Now, what is gumbo? I've, I've heard of it, but I don't even know what it is. That's really lame. I hate it when the mayor devours my younglings. Yeah, it's a real bummer, alright. Right. Alright, let's get this over with. I'm gonna quickly tie you both up, then I can take you back to... Hang on just a moment. You're nuts if you think I'm just gonna let you hog tie me like I'm some kind of... Uh, some kind of hog. Oh, come on, friend. Won't be that bad. 
Some people have to pay MILVs to do this to them. <laughs> and you're getting hog tied for free. <laughs> We're not expecting the word MILVs to be multiplied like that. You can change that based on level of cooking. I don't cook, Magic Chemist. I don't cook. <laughs> MILVs. <laughs> MILVs? Yeah, that's the plural of MILF. That ain't right. <laughs> yeah, huh? What's the plural of wolf then? Wolves. Wolves, but it's an acronym. You can't just <laughs> hear me no moment. Jeez, it's like I'm talking to Mikey. Strong drawl, even stronger insistence that the plural of MILF isn't in fact MILFs. Man, you guys are cool. Sorry I'm doing this. Yeah, well, let's get you two all tied up. <laughs> yeah, Norm, let God tie you up. It's fine. God ties me up every day. And leaves me to rot. Nah, it ain't fine. I want to shoot the mare before she devours you, young dammit. Oh. Oh, I like the sound of that even better. I would prefer it generally if my young weren't devoured, but... It happens. Let's kill Mayor Mingus. You know, for the heck of it. Well, yeah, to save your kids. And that too, I guess. See, what I don't personally care is whether Priscilla Puspus lives or dies after I get that omelette. The mayor gave me explicit orders not to let you shoot her in the face, and I really want that omelette. Sorry, fellas. God, this blows. It really does, yes. You suck. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be mean to God. <laughs> okay, scratch that. I'm sorry. That was mean. <laughs> that was more than justified. Hey, we're the good guys. We don't have to be rude. Yeah, I'll be as rude as I like to folks that are trying to kidnap us. Okay, kidnapping is also pretty rude, granted. I'm just saying, we're better than this. Have some manners, Norm. Come on. Uh, come on, bros. Can't you just be happy for me? I'm gonna get a free omelette. <laughs> and we're getting kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, one made from one of Shrine's unhatched kin. I mean, I'm basically just a, a big chicken, so... Okay, when you phrase it like that, I do sound like a bit of a dick. Give me one reason why I sh Oh, that's, that's not... That's not God. Give me one reason why I shouldn't just shoot you here and now. Well, if you shoot me right now, you'll never get to know what I was going to ask you. Alrighty then, ask a question then, for my last shred of patience tears away like wet tissue paper. Hey bro, can you spare a dime? I'm sorry, Shriner. I just gotta... <laughs> oh god, what do we do? Escalate encounter. Oh, don't shoot God. Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to shoot God, but I do kind of want to see what happens. Escalate? You know what? I'm going to actually save, just in case that does kill us, because I feel like it might. Kill him. Kill him now. Do it. Yeah, which scheming to kill God's kind of cringe, bro. So we, me low and savory. Okay, look, I had enough of this sacrilege. Beggar, you've taken up plenty of our time. We're just gonna mosey on over to the mayor and blow her brains out before she manages to eat any of my friend's wretched green offspring, right? We're friends! <laughs> Did you just refer to me as your friend? Yeah, I also just referred to your kids as wretched, so don't get it too big for your boots, partner. <laughs> I want boots. Please, stop talking. Okay, see, the fact that you've accepted that you're going to the mayor's office now is a real boon for me. But your adamant not letting me tie you up, Stick, is starting to irritate me. This, I don't think this actually has escalated very much. How's about I just hand you guys the rope? You just tie yourselves up, nice and easy, and we avoid having an unpleasant encounter, eh? I like that idea. Let's do that. How's about you? Stop hassling us, for I give you a gut full of lead. Hell, if you're carrying around human intestines filled with lead, then you're more fucked up than I know how to deal with. He is pretty fucked up, yes. I meant I'll fill your gut with lead. Bullets, goddammit. Well, see, if you're gonna use my name in vain, the least you could do is buy me lunch first. For the last time, partner, you ain't God and you stink. <laughs> Enough. <gasps> He's done it now. 
What? I am God here. Oh, he's in a cage. What in tarnation? This is bigger than you know, you green simpleton. Hey, I didn't say anything. Biblically accurate. Don't look at me like that. This isn't about exiles, eggs, or even society itself. We live in a society. This is about me wanting my fucking omelette. I want that omelette so fucking much, Shriner. I will tear you apart molecule by molecule if you dare stand in my way, you tiny goddamn fool. Okay. If I can create all of us, if I can create all of this useless fucking garbage around us, then I can watch it burn without feeling anything. Mother of God. That's right, fuckers. I'm going Old Testament style again. It's omelette time. So this is who I've been sending my prayers to for my whole life. Oh, your prayers were dog shit anyway, and I turned out and I tuned out eons ago. Oh, why? Why doesn't Dialtown think I'm a good bloke? Oh, why can't I get it up? I'm wearing my erotica hat. I should be hard as a. <laughs> hey, those are meant to be private. <laughs> I really hope the hat you're wearing right now isn't your erotica hat. The only prayers I still listen to are from that Johnny Lincoln kid from Dayton, Ohio. He prays whenever he sees a cool dog to tell me about it. The rest of y'all just use me as an all-powerful agony aunt, and my cosmic mailbox is full to the brim already, thanks. Such rage. God, this isn't you. You've sold out, man. I love God Dog, too. He's good. I want to give him pets. Bullshit, I, I haven't sold out, dude. You're a giant floating many-headed Samoyed god. That's that's not ideal. Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do this to me. I created the universe, bro. I shouldn't have to beg for omelets. Oh. You know what? You can eat my children. You can eat my children, god. It's fine. You can have your omelet. I shouldn't be at the bottom of the food chain. You're happier at the bottom of the food chain, dude. You get up every day and eat trash. It's your true nature. I mean, ask yourself this. Are you actually having fun right now? Ask yourself this, chat. Are you actually having fun right now? You better be. I didn't read that, but it's fine. Shit, this fucking sucks. God, for Pete's sake, if you're that sor sore for an omelette, I'll make you one. <laughs> you can cook? <laughs> I've lived alone for years, partner. You got him right, I can fry up an omelette. Good lord, I mean, there's only like three steps involved. It's frankly astounding that you can't, given how long you said you've been alive and kicking. Alright then, so if I'm understanding this right, the mayor's willing to give me an omelette for catching you two and bringing you stir, and you'll give me an omelette for doing literally nothing. <laughs> nothing wins! Yay, inactivity! Inertia for life, baby. I mean, if he wants his omelette, he'll get his omelette. I'm gonna just take the dog food you pay me to show up for a stupid meeting some moose. That's great, but aren't you afraid to double cross her? Oh, please. What's she gonna do? Oops, I didn't read that. <laughs> Who cares if she sends me to jail? They said the same child there anyway. Alright then, Shriner. Looks like we got ourselves some eggs to go and wrangle her. Huh? I can read. Oh, right, about that. Before I go, I might as well let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. Your eggs are fine, my dude. Theoror has them. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Not Theoror. Uh, of all the people who could have them, it has to be that guy. Yo, so you're familiar with the egg clutch environment then? I guess you could say we have a history, yes. Huh. So if what's his face has some, then why Tarnation to tell us that the mayor was going to eat him then, huh? I don't know, man. She told me to. She figured you'd cooperate better if she thought you had used by the balls, I guess. No, see, our first instinct was to kill her with an even greater amount of haste when you told us that. Yeah, no, she's floundering, my dude. Her plan's in literal shambles. <laughs> I mean, why do you think she hired me of all people to come get you? 
Like, you guys don't even have to speed walk at this point. There's no urgency. Take a stroll. Like some of the broken glass on the pavement. I will, King. Thank you. I know you two have tongues under there. Go nuts. <laughs> you... <laughs> you know? <laughs> I have a tongue? Cool. Thanks, partner. <laughs> he keeps saying uses from, like, Newcastle. If I could do a Newcastle ass accent, I would give it to God, but I cannot. I don't know the starting word for that one. <laughs> I suppose I'll see you around, especially since you're apparently everywhere. You think I'm everywhere? <laughs> I'm barely here right now. Yeah, don't worry, your little flashy noggin about tracking me down. I'll come find you next time. Oh, and forget about that omelette. Ciao. Just need to start calling everyone pet now. <laughs> New God is from Newcastle, just in general. <laughs> you know, some days I often found myself wondering why love and God would leave my prayers on that, so, but now... Well, now I reckon that may have actually been a blessing in disguise. Hehe, <laughs> Sheriff Softy. Teehee, <laughs> Erectile Defunction Deputy. You done? <laughs> Bush castrated Cassidy. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I got a few more in there. I swear, you prayed to God about a one time problem. One time. Are you sure about that, King? <sighs> so, about that Theoro fellow the bum mentioned. You mean God? It's much easier for me if I just pretend he ain't God. Fair. Continue. Uh, not even a, not even a single bite for Shrine Bird. How could you? I'm starving out here. Not even a single bite of egg. How dare you? You mentioned that you and this Fiero fella have some kind of history. And for the tone of your voice, I gather y'all didn't exactly frolic and pick daisies together. Oh, right, yeah. Fiero's a zookeeper over at Dartown Zoo. I used to live there, you know, inside one of the enclosures. You lived in the zoo of all places? Not on purpose. <laughs> yeah, you live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Who are you to judge? You can have the noodle juice? The broth? You know what? I'll take it. If, if it's warm. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah, in a house. A house? You know what I mean? A rundown shack? One built the ha- One built to house human life, yeah. The gunk. The sludge. The joker sludge at the bottom of the noodles. Living in a zoo enclosure is just degrading. You're telling me. I spent quite a while in there. Boy, I can only imagine. How'd they even get you to will only stay in there for that long? I, uh... I, I didn't... Hang on. You were allowed to leave when you wanted to. Right, partner? No. <laughs> Son of a... I'm gonna fucking kill him. Aw, he's protective over me. No. How sweet of you. Also, I love that face. It's so squelched. Usually drink it, but don't like to drink the curry broth. Coward. <laughs> Magic Gamma. Somebody screenshot that message. Somebody screenshot that message. <laughs> Boys get his ass. <laughs> the fairy's the best, huh? Direct quote from Magic Chemist. <laughs> oh, goodness gravy. No, it's fine. It ain't fine. It ain't fine. I didn't serve in the Air Force, watch my friends get shot down, fight for freedom, just so folks like him, the mayor, could strip it away from folks like us whenever they feel like it. You tell them, Norm. Also, it's in the website, Queen Quotes. Fantastic. Fantastic. As it should be. Direct Magic MS quote How dare you, the furry is the best. Never let anyone say that he said otherwise. 
It just brings my blood to a boil seeing folks getting their freedom, their humanity stripped away. It ain't just, partner. Relax, Norm. Norm. My eggs aren't in danger. Theros, he's a bit much, but... But to put it bluntly, the creep's completely obsessed with me. Those eggs aren't in any danger, quite the opposite. I know for a fact that he's going to try to hatch them. No. That's even worse than having him smash them to pieces. Hell, the hatching is, you know, the best possible outcome, right? I want to see what my babies look like. Surely you don't want your kids to hatch in captivity. For the first memories to be of their imprisonment. You're a father now, Shriner. It's your duty to ensure that your kids get a better life than that. Oh, I'm a father. Ugh. Never wanted to hear that in my life. You really think so? Is that even a question? Then it with a question mark, so yeah. Look, exile's bad, because being told you can't go somewhere you should be able to call should Cause being told you can't go somewhere you should be able to call home is obviously dehumanizing. Being told you can't go anywhere but the confines of a dingy little cell? Screw dehumanizing. Most critters don't deserve that sort of treatment. Even most of the garbage ones, such as pelicans and the like. <laughs> no, pelicans are fine. What's the beef with pelicans? They're fun little guys. Okay, okay, you're right. Thanks. Yeah, anytime, partner. I wonder where Bigfoot is. It's strange the slice of cheese on your face didn't draw him out. You get to see Bigfoot soon, guys. I'm excited. First of all, again, not a slice of cheese. One man's cheese, Norman. I need a post-it note. It's probably close enough to cheese, right? Hang on. doesn't taste like cheese. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna have to swallow it now. can't chew it. Why did I do that? I think I may have some problems. not neurotypical behavior you know what no it wasn't no it wasn't that's a good reason for that anyway back to Bigfoot <laughs> we're just gonna pretend that I didn't do that <laughs> and secondly I'm sure Bigfoot ain't anywhere around here seeing as he doesn't even exist Bigfoot is real and we dated he's wonderful did we we can't just hang out with him but
Bigfoot ain't real. I'll simply refuse to budge on this. I mean, I'm real, aren't I? Uh, I actually don't have a halfway decent retort for that. In fairness, Bigfoot's supposed to be an elusive and possibly completely sentient ape man. Meanwhile, you just happen to have six nipples? Hey, now, plenty of existing species of animals have teeth, too, you know. I also have green skin. <laughs> Chemist, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it, King. We're just gonna pretend it didn't happen and never mention it again. <laughs> it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Nothing happened, I promise. <laughs> so do pray in mantises. Right, and female mantises, like, chop off their boyfriend's heads after mating. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> My point is, they're plenty freaky. If mantises exist, then why not Bigfoot? They were talking about eating post-it notes, guys. Guys. <sighs> Listen. I am not on the correct dosage of medication. Ever. <laughs> ever in my life. <laughs> I don't currently lick pipes. I licked pipes when I was like five, okay? Before I had cognitive thought. That was pre-cognitive thought in my brain. I don't currently lick pipes as an activity that I do. Okay? Just, get, just to get the record straight. The pipe licking was a baby activity. Listen, okay, next year I turn 25 and my brain is gonna finally like solidify. It's gonna finally set into like the mindset I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. I do not lick pipes. <laughs> I have not like added that to my mental repertoire of things that I do as an activity. A five year old is a baby, that's close enough. Please never say, why not Bigfoot to me again, 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 again. Say, why can't Bigfoot if you must, but why not Bigfoot? Makes me feel like I'm I'm at a taxi rank being offered a piggyback ride from Bigfoot to get back home from the bar. <laughs> what? <laughs> me too, much I this, but I mean, <laughs> we ain't talking about that one on stream. Bigfoot ain't real. Now I'd be a rotten friend slash traveling companion if I let you continue thinking that he was. <laughs> Did you just say that we're friends a second time? Two times, no? Two whole times? Once is a mistake. Second time is a coincidence. Wait, no, that's not right. Once is a coincidence, second time is on purpose. I don't remember that saying. Don't bunk me. You're the one who said it. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Nah, you must have been hearing things, partner. Mm. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Get wrecked, Mormon. <laughs> Gosh darn. <laughs> See, you said it. Chat log doesn't lie. That is true, he is bunking himself, to be fair. I assumed the bunk was directed in general, but... That is true. You are bonking yourself. Carry on. Carry on bonking yourself, King. Wait, wait. Man, do I, uh... Do I really talk like that? Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. Are you just, like, allergic to any and all positive character development? <laughs> I'm still working on myself. God isn't finished with me yet. Well, you should work much, much harder. This is the limits of my- this is the limits of me, dude. I just ate a post-it note, like, two minutes ago, which is- it doesn't get better than this. I think it'd be best if we just made for the zoo for another one of that damn cat goon show up to kick us in the shins or something asinine to that effect. Come on, Shriner. We got us some eggs to wrangle. I'm getting called out. I'm always getting called out, bro. In, just in what? Just in all my times, in all my life. All right, what's our game plan? I say we walk in, grab the eggs. That's the plan. But if we don't grab the eggs, how are we supposed to get them out of here? 
logic. I mean, we're hard, hardly accounting for us facing any resistance, are we? What about security? The baboon enclosure's got a padlock now. We're safe. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. 0605-2006, never forgetty. Shriner, what the fuck are you talking about? <gasps> you look so small in comparison. Aha, what's this I see? Two rapscallion rapscallions here to pilfer my mayorally assigned bounty, no doubt. What in, what in tarnation is he saying? Why does he have a mustache on a phone head? I mean, this guy's a hat, so... No, I'm relaxed. It's normal. This was all established ages ago. Not for me, it wasn't. I think he should have been here. Why does he have a... No, no. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. I'll handle this. Shh. There we go. Quiet time. Now allow me. Ahem. <laughs> Thero, you are a bastard man. I command thee to give my children back this instant. Relinquish your shelled spawnlings, I think not. Fuck, that's all I had. <coughs> Alright, now looky here, partner. Egads! So the mayor wasn't just exhaling copious amounts of hot air as I'd previously assumed. You know me. In the flesh. Who in tarnation are you calling up? Now, now. The normie doth protest too much, methinks. What the fuck is a doth? <laughs> Call me that again and I'll make you eat that mustache of yours, zebra boy. Zebra boy, he's American. <laughs> zebra. Perhaps I was foolish to expect the frontier bumpkin, a brute, to be familiar with the most gifted playwright, Will Line. German lady. She is done. <laughs> with the <laughs> German lady. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> to be familiar with the most gifted playwright, Willine Will Line Ringsphere. Will I Ringsphere Will I am. Crying out loud there are his name was William Shakespeare, and his plays were agonizing to sit through. Gonna have to side with Norm on this one, Theo. Personally, in my opinion, I can't fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 what is the word? Don't reduce me to the lackey of the German lady. She is in my power entirely. I can unplug her at any second. <laughs> Personally, in my opinion, I can't fucking read. So, yeah, don't quote asinine old literature to me, partner. Ugh. I was there when, granted, a small amount of it was written. My, you aren't just a marble of biology, but also of history. What we as a species, what I could learn from you. Norm, I have a plan. Terrible news, I know, but I do have one. Now I'll try words first, gun second. Fair enough. We'll return to my idea late again. Look, I'm gonna talk straight here, as that happens to be the only way I speak. Straight disastrous. <laughs> Hello, SCP Vangel27. How's it going? How are you doing? Big howdy. Howdy, y'all. You're a monster, partner. Taking away the autonomy of sentient beings, good folk like my pal Shriner here. Do not call me good folk. It is not. <laughs> incorrect. Incorrect distinction there, my friend. It ain't right. It ain't American. God save the queen. <laughs> no, you're better than this. Don't succumb to the straightness. I guess he's also in the military and American, so... He's American sexual. <laughs> uh, awful. Well, that's your way of seeing things, I suppose. Say, is that a NASA suit you happen to be donning and... Donning superb superbly, I must say. Don't, hit, don't flirt with Norm. Tell me, cowboy, was it quite so American for NASA to discreetly hire Nazi scientists en masse following the Second World War? Also, we could send a metallic, phallic vanity project to an orb-shaped mass of cheese in outer space. That, you... He's right, to be fair, no. <laughs> that, that doesn't excuse... Freedomantic. 
You can date the American sexual. That's true, that's true. He's not straight, he's just only attracted to Americans. <laughs> Magic M is my boy, this one's for you. <laughs> it wasn't about vanity, friend. It was our country's pride. <laughs> pride for his America sexualness. <laughs> Also, we were racing the Stalin man to the moon. We, we were showing that freedom could reach the deepest be depths of the universe. Ugh. We wish. Bleh. Hang on. We were showing that freedom could reach the deepest depths of this weary universe, even out of space itself, if it need be. Does pretending that our holders care about freedom and ignoring atrocities committed by this very nation help you sleep at night, Normie? Yo, oh, you want to talk about dirty consciousness, Whiskers? The boys are fight. The boys- I was trying to say the boys are fighting and the boys are beefing at once, and it just it came out the boys are biting. <laughs> you know what? The boys are biting, sure. Look, if you want to slap iron bars around a sleepy half-sentient type here, then be my guest, partner. That's your right as an American citizen. But locking up folks like my pal Shriner here, just because they don't look the same as you? That makes me go from seeing red, white, and blue to just red. The eggs, mustachio. Hand them over before I shoot the whiskers right up your face. Here I say, know me with a hard R. <laughs> yeah, gun violence, let's go. Huh? You call that pea shooter a firearm? Now this. This is a gun you could say bully to. Fuck, fuck, he's got a big gun. That's one big gun, Norm. Hey, you know, size doesn't matter. It's a lever action. Looks to be an 1873. Big, big gun. Yes, yeah, Shriner. Big gun. It's a showdown. The boys are fighting. <laughs> well then, Meshers. It would seem that I am the only party here with the adequate firepower, and firepower needed to make demands. I mean, can't I shoot acid? Can't I shoot acid? Is that not taking into account? Or is that not, not good for the plot here? <laughs> so, to resolve this conflict, I'll extend an olive branch and offer up a most equitable bargain. <laughs> One of them is French, one of them is American. Who <laughs> are we rooting for? Neither. What did he say? If you wish to remain with your young leg shriner. Boy, I think I can arrange that. It's both bad options, to be honest. A arrange what now? A luxury enclosure, one with ample room for you and your younglings to romp, roam, prance, and frolic around in. I'd give him a French accent, but I can't do one. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I would give most anything to study your parental instincts up close. I don't think I have those. <laughs> hmm, that's a big commitment. Kind of like a timeshare. Can I, can I remember to think this over? American fear going for Norm. I mean, I guess technically we gotta be on Norm's side, but... Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like the error as a problem, so... I and mean, it technically Norm is right, so... <laughs> but he's also American. Being imprisoned in a zoo enclosure is nothing like buying a goddamn timeshare, Shriner. I'm not even sure I know what a timeshare is, so... Nothing alike? Not according to your average type. Not at all. Ugh. Not according to your average timeshare contract, they ain't. Ayo! <laughs> Don't put that thing at me. Do you keep forgetting I'm packing a pistol, partner, or do you just have a death wish? Both, probably. Now, now! I can't have you shooting my talent now, can I? <laughs> You're bisexual, which means you like one woman, two norm. <laughs> the two genders. Talent? What talent? My talent is that I can drink so much paint and then fall asleep on the pavement. <laughs> Why'd you have to keep adding things? Nobody asked for you to say that. <laughs> can we hurry this along? I've got exactly five unattended shelled life bombs presently under the warm embrace of my heat lamp to return to. You know, that reminds me, I wanted to ask you. Why did the mayor give my eggs to you? Also, why did they take a year to hatch? It's not like I had to give anyone something for nothing. The most astute observation, green one. You see, the mayor inducted me into the Mingling, her League of Concerned Citizens, to... You mean her elitist secret society? 
No, no, you have it all wrong, friend. You see, the mingling is actually a... Yeah, no. Spare us a spiel. The half pint read it all out. That rapscallion. Whatever the case, I've made myself quite useful to the mayor, you see. Why does he stand like that? <laughs> the eggs were the payment I received for doing a little favor for her. Decisively removing a different rogue element from Dialtown. Rogue element? Why, yes. The return of my escaped mystery exhibit, of course. Oh, the big... I, re I remember. I forgot. <laughs> a bisexual witch. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Being bisexual increases spell damage by 10%. Isn't there that one game... What game is it? Where you can... Is it Fallout? Where you can do extra damage to everyone by being bisexual? You, you don't mean. Who else? Why, the elusive Sasquatch, of course. Back in captivity where he belongs. Free my boy Bigfoot, he didn't do anything. <laughs> Gotta reapply for a loan. <laughs> you fiend, release him at once. Free my boy Bigfoot, he did nothing wrong. Firstly, Bigfoot does not exist. He does, he does, I've met him, Norm. I've held his soft paw in my soft, slightly less soft paw, and I happen to own him. And you're a right bastard for it. And secondly, why'd you get more upset at learning that this fella supposedly captured Bigfoot compared to, say, your children? I don't know my children yet. <laughs> I can be upset about both. You should never be more concerned about Bigfoot than your kid, Shriner. It depends on the situation. You know? <laughs> Another t oh, hear me. You have to, like, just go through as many people as possible to increase your spell damage to, like, 100%. <laughs> it's a hack. It's, um, it's a glitch. Bigfoot. Yes, Bigfoot is currently more endangered than my shoulders. That's your opinion, but I respect it, even if I don't agree with it. Ooh woo. Unbelievable. All is fair in love and zoo, Norman. Lord, give me strength. What kind of zoo it even has a supposed ca Sasquatch alongside you, of all things? Isn't the sort of place only meant for animals? Well, I am an animal, but... <laughs> not the you know what I mean? <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I see what it is that you're covertly getting at. <laughs> Norm is pro-life. <laughs> My god. Monami, please don't assume I wish to cash you out just because you aren't in... <laughs> ...the family way. A chance to study a Normie up close, why? I find myself shuddering with anticipation as I consider the very notion of getting to do so. Theodore is a very, he's a very strange gentleman. He's a, he's a very odd fella. He's a very unusual bloke. A mysterious geezer. Like there's a goddamn chance I'd willingly hand our freedom over to the likes of you. Yeehaw. I got my piece locked and loaded, partner. Now I've killed more flies than any other poor bastard I'd ever known. If you can find a faster shot than me anywhere in the country, I'll eat my hat. But wait, your hat has a US flag on it. Wouldn't devouring the flag be treasonous? Quiet, you. Yes, sir. The Arar. <laughs> the Arar means I love you <laughs> in dinosaur or in crypto. <laughs> uh, I must say, I'd advise against that, my backed friend. I think you'd find my reflexes to be quite impeccable. Ugh. Why, I periodically shoot this rifle whilst I slumber. That does not seem safe. He's telling the truth, unfortunately. He shot like 14 to pierce through the wall. That I have, yes. Wow, this whole place is a... Uh, it's a goddamn madhouse. Tell me about it, bro. You got used to it. Shooting papers through the wall, like fish in a barrel. You know, hunter and certainly no man of science. 
No, no. That is verifiably untrue. I'm wearing an astronaut suit, partner. I reckon I understand science, thank you very much. Right, but you're also in a cowboy hat with an American flag on it. The hat wear of choice for men who despise fancy smancy science and shoot at healthcare. <laughs> Please stop the helping. Look, you don't even need to be a scientist to see that this place is nothing more than a graveyard to genuine understanding. Do you honestly think you can judge a creature's natural behavior from an observation point outside a cramped concrete cell? Concrete. None of this is scientific in the slightest, and frankly, well... You're an ingrate, partner. Plain and simple. Damn, get his ass. Why I never? I've done my share of field work, I'll have you know. Why I insist on wrangling every creature that I have on display myself. There isn't one wretched beast confined within my walls that I haven't personally socked right in the jaw. Even the bastards in the crocodile enclosure? Indeed. And untranquilized, too. What in Tarzanation? What in Tarantulation? You're not just an ingrate, you're out of your goddamn mind. Wait, Theo, how are you still so uh, limby after res rescuing cr Crocs? Ugh, shouldn't you be missing at least a few of those? Mon cher, have you ever heard of a hand transplant? Right, settled. Thanks for nothing. Your zoo serves no purpose. It only stands to give men like you an excuse to strip freedom from anything you find lesser than yourself. Yeehaw. <laughs> but what of the children? What's drawn on your face? Oh, it's a star. <laughs> I forgot for a second that I had something on my face. <laughs> Little Billy will strangle your, your limbos if given free reign at the place. No, no, I was referring to the non-lost causes. As you know, Dodd Tower is a thoroughly uninteresting place. The zoo, while it granted may not be perfect, is a slice of that which is exotic here in our dull backwater town. The way to bring adventure to Dodd Town's susceptible youth. Uh, and how has attendance been lately? Even with three entry, as of late I've struggled to attract seemingly any guests at all. But the people will come. Theo. My dude, this place is depressing. That's a me. By capturing these animals and sealing them away. Can't you see? You're hoarding the adventure all for yourself. If you had to go out and wrangle these animals yourself to seek your own adventure, shouldn't the rest of Dialtown, shouldn't everyone have a chance to punch a crocodile in the face? That's my belief as an, as an American, which I'm not. <laughs> Uh-huh. Surprisingly well said, Trainer. Thank you. I am very smart. You're... I can't believe I... Why, you aren't just right. You're right on the money. This town. The reason it's gone soft, not unlike the underbelly of a beach turtle, is... Is because of yours truly. In my haste, my well-intentioned adventurous instincts. I fattened, nay spoiled Dialtown's appetite, quenching this town's wanderlust. His dialogue is so hard to read. Depriving Dialtown's fair populace of an adventure of their very own. Well, no more. I, Theo Russellbelt, will tear down the walls of this wretched institution brick by brick if I must. I will painstakingly separate brick from mortar, all in the name of adventure. Sure, sure. And I'll take that. Two guns. Finally, some real firepower. Pronounce. Ahem. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, partner. I'm a simple man with simple pleasures. And a lever action rifle is what I like to call a universal pleasure. Anyhow, I believe you owe us some eggs, Stashy McGee. Yeah, yes. Five calcium coated green bowling balls coming right up. Oh, yeah, gun ownership. Um, <laughs> no, I won't say that. <gasps> My babies! Aww! 
I got my boys back. I got my little babies. <laughs> I got pronouns, huh? Of course you have split hair and pronouns. <laughs> my babies. Papa's here, babies. Oh, my children. All right then. It is now time to render this wicked institution inoperable. We've done a good deed today. You're just gonna open the cages and let the varmints inside run free then? My visage obscured friend, where's the adventure to be had in that? Now we'll breach this panda penitentiary's walls with dynamite. D do you just have dynamite laying around all willy nilly? Is will that not hurt the beasts? Does this hurt the cat? Yes, Norm, obviously he just has dynamite laying around all willy nilly. Everyone does. <laughs> and with that, I bid you adieu. <laughs> I like Norm's face there. Farewell, my beloved panda penitentiary. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he's actually gonna just... Jesus fucking... Ah! <laughs> Did she just hear something, dude? <laughs> How in thunderation did you barely hear that ruckus? Yeah, I'm a little deaf nowadays. <laughs> PTSD, war flashbacks. Oh no. Uh, uh. Yeah, I can't hear very well, guys. <laughs> my hearing's been less sensitive since I burnt my eardrums out. How on earth did you manage that? <laughs> so many options here. <laughs> Let little Billy pop my head on the pointy stick. What? Why would you? He said it would make my head think faster. Like taking the plastic wrap off a couch after you finish painting your living room. You... So, you lived under that deranged fella for how long exactly? <laughs> At least three, I'm sure. Sure, thanks? At least three. You know, I can't tell if I respect you more for seeing what you've lived through up close or just fear you a little now. Just a little. Just a little bit of fear. I try to inject that into my life every day. How would you even survive in a place like this? Believe it or not. You can make a sling for broken limbs out of duct tape. That is something I would do. <laughs> Jeez, and I reckon that I had survival skills. A head beast. Is that... No, it couldn't be. Is it? Is it my boy? My boy? Shriner, what are you talking about? My boy, Bigfoot! Bigfoot, my darling, it's you! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, PSD, PTSD bros. <laughs> That's fucking Bigfoot! What the... Bigfoot! Shh, baby, it's okay. This is Norm. He's a friend. Yes, baby, he's an ally of the Squatch. Oh, that's a paper bag. It's... He's covering up his normie face. Isn't that right, Norm? Bigfoot for war. Bigfoot attack. Was Bigfoot just real with the whole time without me knowing? I did try to tell you, bro. I did try and tell you. Why didn't anyone try to tell me? I, I told you numerous times, bro. That doesn't count. Somehow. It counts, baby. It counts. He's a sprinting ape man. How in Tars nation has he evaded capture for God knows how long? Saskatch. <laughs> Saskatch, <laughs> our beloved. <laughs> you just said Ali? <laughs> I did. I did say that. I know I did. And I'm sticking with it. Why were his hands so big? Okay, let's just all calm down. Bigfoot, come out from behind your hands. There we go, baby. Now the other one. A minute ago, we were negotiating with a mustachioed zookeeper holding a rifle. Now we're co coaxing Bigfoot out from behind his own hands. Okay, this isn't like that weird. This is surreal. And that ain't a word I've had to use to describe any part of my life before I first visited this godforsaken forsaken town. There we go, see? Bigfoot, norm familiar. Norm friend to Squatch. Remember Nose's Bigfoot from before the dial up? He's one of those fellas, Bigfoot. He's got lips. 
He's got lips. What you tell him that for? Now you're making it sound like I want to kiss him. Well, do you? Obviously not. Don't let me using male pronouns throw you off, I've, uh... Well, I haven't personally inspected, uh... Bigfoot could be biologically female, is all I'm saying. Are you, Bigfoot? Bigfoot, what are your pronouns? <laughs> no, no, don't do this to me. You can't do this to me, Shriner. <laughs> I've mixed up enough that I have into a vision of a world where me and Bigfoot are capable of breeding. <laughs> Hear me, do you kin? Do you kin, Norm? Is that what's going on here? Monster fucker Norm? You know what? Good for him. See, I just mentioned lips. No, you're the one talking about fucking Bigfoot. You said it. Why are you? No, please keep your voice down. He's easily startled. You must approach him gently with an apple in your outstretched palm, not unlike a wild horse. Lord, this is weird. This is all somewhat less weird for Bigfoot, I'm sure. After all, he also lived through a time where folks like you existed and frolicked around freely. To him, you are normal. Huh. Plus, you know, Bigfoot is very familiar with who I am, of course. Alright, forgive my lack of tact, but I gotta ask. How in tarnation are you equating with Bigfoot of all folks? Yes, Bigfoot. What we have is indeed very special and whimsical. You see, Norm, long story short, I once tried to domesticate Bigfoot. How would that work when you're completely feral? Well, it didn't. <laughs> You see, that was but one ob unworkable obstacle of many. Bigfoot's back! Woo! Let's go. We love to see my boy back. My boy with the big feet. <laughs> the biggest one being, this is Bigfoot we're talking about. So you're the one who taught him to keep his cool around humans then, right? Now, he had plenty of experience with humans already, I presume. That can't be right. You fought in the Korean War. You fought in the Korean War, right? How's your Korean? I could speak it passably years ago, I suppose. If you can learn the language dropping bombs from planes. Bigfoot can show us how to learn about humans sprinting through this nation's forests and national parks. Who knows? Maybe Bigfoot even managed to learn a few human words. If so, do you think he'd understand things like human profanity, or would those words be Greek to him? Good question. Do you know fuck, Bigfoot? <laughs> Don't phrase it like that. <laughs> no one's actually in a war. I just, I've been saying this, bro. He's a military. <laughs> you should have read it, Corian. <laughs> Good reference. You're playing with fire when you ask Bigfoot stuff like that. These times will post for a bit. I'll put a collar and leash on him before you ask him questions like that. Please and thank you. Whoa, whoa. A moment ago, you are all about freedom. Someone's a wee bit of a hypocrite, ain't they? Let Bigfoot fuck. First of all, that ain't a natural sounding use of the term ain't. Secondly, for your information, my moral compass ain't calibrated for a world where Bigfoot just happens to be running amok in my immediate vicinity. Viscinity. He is a military. <laughs> I said what I said. So, can he speak? Well, no. Not really. Not really? What do you mean by not really? Well, you see, I tried to teach him to speak fluent English. But when he wasn't getting it, I kinda got fed up and immediately gave in. Moved on. Put a necktie on him and tried to get him to successfully operate a toaster. Yes, Bigfoot. It was an unmitigated disaster. Bagels should not glow, nor hum faintly upon taking them out of the toaster. But he almost figured it out, Norm. Yeah, what the hell. Might as well just ask. Bigfoot? Do you have any wisdom you'd like to impart on us? Something you learned from me, perhaps? Oh, please. Like, he's just gonna... <laughs> oh, um. Me? Good. Bigfoot? Good. You? Good. You? Good as are. Oh, there he goes. 
<laughs> he spoke. My boy spoke. He said his first words. <laughs> I taught him to speak. <laughs> this bitch speak. This bitch enunciation. <laughs> okay, there he goes, sprinting off into the woods. Uh huh. Do you think he decided to leave at that moment because he sensed he was no longer needed? That his work here was done? No, he just sort of does that? Big got a big mouth. <laughs> huh. You know, I have to admit, I'm a tad surprised. Do you think we should get away from the place that's massively on fire right now? Yeah, it's probably fine. Actually, Nat, referring to how I feel right now as simply being surprised would be like calling the twister that sucked up your paw a light breeze. Is that a country expression? Or like... Uh, it wasn't so much a burning down as a dynamiting, but yes. <laughs> Look, when we met, I figured your talk of helping folks with nothing more than manipulative horseshit. I got my eggs back, Magic Chemist. That you were nothing but a green charlatan, trying to suck me in to let me use and then discard me like this country head. But you helped raise Bigfoot's self-esteem. Is there even a word in the dictionary for the kind of good deed where you give Bigfoot a helping hand? It's just what I do, baby. It's just what I do. There certainly ain't one in the Bible, that's for damn sure. I'm sure there is, dude. It's a thick book. It's likely in there somewhere. Is there anyone in this town that you haven't helped? <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> no. I can think of one. It's not too late for you, you know. It's never too late. We're gonna fix him. This man can be fixed. Hmm. Look, you got your eggs back. whoop de do but... Well, the mayor still has it out for us. We bested her goon, sure, but... Considering the length she'd gone to trying to take us down... It wasn't, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't flirting. It was me being nice, okay? <laughs> Listen, he may be from the military. But, I mean, we can do something about it. We can work with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Norm face reveal when, when he's ready. God. You know, this, these parasocial relationships are getting out of hand. <laughs> You feel you're all entitled to the the, the the private lives of your... You know what I mean. <laughs> There's a joke. <laughs> no one keeps the bag on during sex. The bag stays on. What I'm trying to say is I don't reckon this is going to end with a peaceful heart to heart. I think it might. We don't have to forfeit the happy ending we deserve. Look, I don't want to mislead you. You're a nice guy, Shriner. You help people. I ain't like you, and the mayor's certainly anything like. I ain't like you, and the mayor certainly ain't anything like you. What are you saying? I'm saying that I don't want to implicate you in all this any more than I already have. <laughs> yes, hear me. That was the joke. That was the joke, hear me. Well done. Our deal was for us to partner up till we reach Mayor M McCatface and nothing more. Best just to step aside when we reach the mayor. Let me and her sort our business out on our own. Unlike me, you ain't too deep in all this just yet. I don't want you to pay the price for what for what I finally realize I need to sort out once and for all. And for whatever it's worth. I'm grateful that you brought me back here. We're gonna fix him, guys. We're gonna fix him. That you went to the trouble of helping the good folks of Dialtown out just because you felt like it. Dialtown have more folks like you and your friends walking around? I wouldn't have turned a blind eye for as long as I did. I. We should get moving, I reckon. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. What are you gonna do when I roll up and flush you to eat a pizza I bought for you? Bite you. I will bite you. Are you taking Theora's rifle with you? Nah, thinking about it further, I think it's best if I just use my single action for what I gotta do. When every hundredth of a jiffy marks the difference between life and certain death, I think it's probably the best to stick with what's familiar, you know. I dropped it at our feet back when the dynamite went off, if you want to grab it. Ooh. 
Ooh, do I take the gun? Do I take the gun, guys? Ooh, what do I do? I'm gonna save. This seems important. <laughs> Resisting the country, I should be a cryptid fucker. <laughs> you know what? You should. Norm, get your head out of your ass. <laughs> 29 save files. I've played a lot of this game, bro. Take it. Well, you take the gun, I guess. You're goddamn right, I'm taking it. Gungi? Pardon? Oh, gun. Okay, gun gungi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot that the, the guy is canonically called Phone Gingi. Was it Phone Gingi? I don't know. Yeah, the boy. That ought to show them the rest of this whole ordeal. Ordeal. Come on, Shriner. Let's clear out of this crackling cesspit that's crawling with critters. <laughs> Ugh. Give my boy a gun. My baby's got a gun. Well, this isn't much of an improvement. I'm genuinely surprised it's gotten this bad. I reckon the zoo's walls would have shielded Daltown from even some of the raging inferno and the riled up animals. I'm not crazy about the fire, to be frank. This is a lot of fire. <laughs> I could give or take the random berserking animals, though. Considering the berser berserking animals happen to be on fire and spreading the flames, I suppose they're more of a package deal. Yeah. At any rate, there's only one thing left for us to do. Get to Town Hall and confront that damn mayor once and for- Ah! I've been flashbanged. Ah! Mingus! You! You stitched together sloth! You viridescent villain! Well, looky who it is. I've been waiting a long time for- Out of my way, freak! This is between me and the green one. <laughs> Get it, queen! <laughs> Excuse me! Me? But I thought, is it Norm your nemesis? That pistol-wielding -wield ingrate? My nemesis? My office is full to the brim with hippos and fire! <laughs> Why do you all love Mingus so much? <laughs> she is a girl boss, to be fair. Do you even know the full extent of what you've done? <laughs> okay, the flaming hippos are news to me, apparently. You? You've torn apart the social order of Dialtown, the society that I so tirelessly cultivated like a depraved dog in a manger. Mingus. Listen here, Missy, my friend ain't here to pick a fight with you. He said friend again. I am. I've been itching to teach you a lesson for a long time. No, oh, that's rich. The bumbling hick from bumfuck nowhere is going to teach the mayor of Dial Down a lesson? Norm, you're nothing to me. Damn. Damn. Before today, you hadn't entered my head once since the day I kicked you to the curb. And just as I planned, you spend every day after your exile from Dial Town camped out in the wilderness, stewing in your own bitterness like a petulant toddler stuck in time out. But it? Me? You. <laughs> the eyes. I should have torn your head from your shoulders and hurled it into the next state, just like the others suggested. Should have filled you so full of lead that you'd set off metal detectors in Minnesota. Oh, you. Oh, me. It was all going exactly to plan. Every one of my specifications diligently met, and then you. You dragged him back to town after years of sulky inactivity, divided and deterred my best goons. You probably could have got better goons, to be honest. Hmm. <laughs> Not North Carolina. <laughs> Don't you can't set it. <laughs> And now, the whole city has been set ablaze. Years of planning. All disintegrated in a single crime spree. And for what? You did steal my children, to be fair. 
You're all for a deranged monster who can't tell where it's not wanted. Well, that's a bit, a, a bit mean. Come on. Hey, now. Now, now, miss, if you want to pick up... Norm, how are you not getting this? I don't care about you. Frankly, it's beyond laughable that you somehow think you're in the loop, that you understand why any of this is happening. You're a pathetic little man, Norm, and you want me to consider you as a significant variable in all this? <laughs> He's trying so hard to stay relevant. And after you spent the last three years of your life licking your wounds in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, too afraid of me to strike back? You're nothing. And if you weren't a freak, you wouldn't stand out to me at all. Damn. Damn. Damn, bro. Yo, so I'm the freak? Someone can't... Someone clearly can't see any further than her whiskers. You're as strange as they come, missy. Difference is, you get to boss others, others around. Tell the honest folks of this town where they have to, what they have to consider normal. I think this is, is, is an invitation. Yes, Magic Chemist. Yes, she is. An invitation. There ain't nothing normal about you, though. No siree. None of this has anything to do with what I consider normal, you bagged cretin. This is how Dial Tower is meant to be. My grandfather's vision. Nope, you said invitation. It's too late now. <laughs> That's a really good emote. Yeah, well, unlike you, I've actually met your grandpappy. I knew Callum Crown. The real Callum Crown. Not the face plastered onto that postcard you've been clutching for all these years. Hell, I saw the downtown that you're trying to recreate with my very own ass. The downtown of today ain't nothing but a soulless husk of what it once was. And you're a soulless husk of a leader, leader too. Unfit to carry Crown's name or a leader's city. Damn, get a rest. Back in our day, pussycats weren't left in charge of the whole cities. Excuse me? Isn't there like one city in America that has like a cat for a mayor or something? Did I dream of that? I have reinvigorated this town, revitalized it, taken it for a spa treatment. This town has grown, developed, blossomed because of my vision, my leadership. I am the blood that flows through this town's veins. I have earned my place here. Yeah, yeah, and I soared above smoke-filled battlefields and godforsaken war zones for this country. Hell, even jetted off into space for all for Uncle Sam. I forged new frontiers, sacrificed my old life for my country. Now, thanks to you, I've gone from jettisoning bombs from aircraft to being the one jettisoned. There's a cat mayor can confirm. I thought so. Let cats be mayors. <laughs> Mingus off the sheds. <laughs> Some thanks I've gotten from my service, eh? You know, Norman Reedus has a son called Mingus Reedus. I've just noticed the names. <laughs> Is that on purpose? I could say the same for your grandpappy's service to our country. Festering away in that old nursing home without a single memory left in that head of his. He deserved better. You think I don't know that? All of this, I'm doing for him. Bullshit. None of this is for him. Throwing trash like me and Shrine around a dial town? Having your mug replaced with a replica of his old cat's face? You really think any of that's gonna make Papa be able to love you with any more than he still can? <laughs> Instead of your mama jokes, Norm says your pappy jokes. No. I'm trying to make him remember, damn it. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. I'm trying to remain I'm trying to make him remember who he was, what he did for the world. Now I've done everything that I could think of to make him remember. I've taken him to locations around town that he would recognize, brought him to other people who knew him, even God wasn't able to fix what was broken inside Paul Pot's head. Hell even my head modeled to my exact specifications to resemble his old cat. The day after they took the bandages off, I vi visited him in the nursing home. I was so sure that he'd remember, that I'd see some life in him once he saw my face, the face of his old cat again. But no. Damn. The drama. I mean, if his memory's completely wiped, like, none of that's gonna help. 
as I sat beside him, clutching his hand with mine. My grandfather wouldn't even look at me. She cat-headed so he would remember. Ugh. Didn't work well. <laughs> he was gazing at something outside. Something frolicking around nearby, just outside his bedroom window. Was it me? <laughs> Popo was so transfixed that he wouldn't even glimpse at me. Do you know what he was staring at instead? What? Sad cat girl. <laughs> you, I know it. <laughs> Rummaging around, eating from the open trash cans in a nearby alley just outside his window. I'd gotten my whole face reconstructed just to see that old man smile, and he wouldn't even look at me. Instead, his gaze consumed by the trash-eating savage sauntering about outside. Damn, you know what? I do draw the gaze, you know what I mean? You. You tumor. You pox. You parasite. This isn't my fault. In any way. I was so close. Just go back a different day, bro. My final chance. To recreate this postcard. She's got trauma. I mean... I feel like she's trying to solve a problem that can't be solved. One double day to be a Krypton fucker. <laughs> you know what? I fucked that old man. <laughs> Do you remember it? Uh, it's uh, familiar? F in the chat for Mingus. Big F for Mingus. This is Dial Town as it was in 1966, the year of the dial up. <laughs> I've tried my hardest to recreate the uptown from this time using the image on this postcard. But you. <laughs> you heard what I said, hear me. You've been a perpetual thorn in my side since the very moment I first became aware of you. One day I decided to take him to the park and we spotted your tent, burlap blemish on the landscape. I tried recreating this photograph and massed the crowd in Uptown to take the place of the one shown in the postcard. I hoped that he'd step into frame, take his place at the front of the crowd. Only to realise the cinema had been converted into a horror attraction, throwing the whole image off. Apparently, you had a hand in that. <laughs> I did and I didn't. I did and I didn't. <laughs> Smile. You did. I have witness statements, damn it. Don't think any better of me. There is no better to think of me. Because of you, I had to threaten that Dickens gets with the draconian legal ramifications for unauthorized site alteration just to get him to revert the outside of that ghastly attraction to its former appearance. <laughs> we did talk about that. We did talk about that. It's a good phrase. I fucked that old man. The next time I passed through Updown, the front of the bank was plastered with help wanted signs because the bank's reputedly reliable teller upped and left on a whim without giving proper notice. Sure enough, as it turned out, you had a hand in that too. It was you. It's always you. Very powerful. I have strived tirelessly to establish a natural order, to cultivate a better... No, a perfect dial down. Only to have you ruin it each and every time. What? So, because it was in the wrong place at the wrong time? Whatever you wanted to recreate your little photograph, it had to just leave town? Mighty fine leadership on your part there, Missy. None of this was personal, you cretin. Not at first. Just like you, Shriner was nothing more than another problem that needed to be steamrolled. Something in my way. Something's in my ass. <laughs> but no. You resisted each and every attempt I made to resolve this peacefully, to remove you without using force. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Not the crown, I see. <laughs> and when I tried that, you burned my city to the ground. Actually, I didn't do that. Theoror did that. <laughs> hey, I didn't start the fire. I just uh, indirectly influenced things, and that led to the cre and that led to the town catching on fire. What I did is probably like the manslaughter equivalent of arson, you know. Legally, I'm probably not to blame. Legally. I don't care about the- I am the law. Shrine is a free citizen, Missy. It is much of a right to live here as anyone else. It isn't costing just anyone else the chance to come back. This is my grandfather we're talking about. 
the visionary who changed the world, the greatest man to have ever lived. Hey, I changed the world too. Not in the same way, but... <laughs> you want me to sacrifice the last shot I have to bring him back? Yes, actually, I do. All for a... Uh, a worthless parasite. Hey, that's rude. It's done more for Dalltown than you ever have. This worthless parasite has aided your people, Missy. Enrich the lives of your most downtrodden downtrodden citizens. Yeah, I did that. Fuck you. All oh, while well, you robbed the citizens of this town here blind, using their hard-earned dollars to line the pockets of you and your cabal. Cable. Cabal? I don't know. Things ain't gonna get better for this town till you're the one who's out of the picture. Yo, get her ass. Oh yeah, just let just let just let Callum look at Norm. That would fix it. You have no idea what you're talking about. This backwater town would be nothing without me. You think these backwater hicks would do anything without me? The Dark Town would have a future without my guidance? They need governance. Do you really see your own citizens that way? Yo, oh, your grandpappy would have hated you. I'm going to fucking kill you. I'll <laughs> let Norm fuck that old man. <laughs> and when I'm done with you, I'll move on to your green friend and splay it out in front of the whole town. Don't spray me, bro. I'm going to pick each and every stitch out of its head with my claws and send each and every one of them to my enemies. So they'll know what happens when nobody's like you two mess with Mayor Mingus Crown. Now, now hang on just a, hang on just a second. You've ruined enough lives, Missy. You're out of chances, out of time, and shit out of luck. Ah, I'm putting you down, here and now. Norm, hold up. <laughs> well, no, you can do anything. You gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, it'll fix him, it's fine. <laughs> you fool. I have cat-like reflexes. I can leap faster than a bullet could leave the barrel of your gun. <laughs> Don't be saying these things about these men. My lord. You'd miss, and then I'd gouge your eyes out with my razor-sharp claws. Teleports behind you. <laughs> Do you honestly think you can leap faster than a speeding bullet? You're out of your goddamn mind. Norm? Go ahead, try. Make my day. You'd miss. I don't miss. So, here we are. <gasps> the narrator's back. Guys, what's gonna happen? Together we departed, and together we peregrinate. P Pregante? No, I, I laid my eggs back in Act 1, don't you remember? <laughs> oh shit, am I pregnant again? Try to. It's a pleasure, as always. Hi, narrator. Narrator, my bestie. I feel like we haven't talked in a while. Truth be told, I haven't had much to say since you met Norm. Well, I haven't had to say much, rather. I suppose that was more useful back when you were a hermit and didn't care about anyone else. You know, back when you didn't have anyone else to keep you from wandering into oncoming traffic. But now look at you. Dare I say, you've blossomed. I have. You got a family, Shriner. A dysfunctional one, granted. And yes, one full of people who aren't actually related in the slightest. And sure, okay, one of them happens to be Bigfoot. But as they say, a family which happens to contain Bigfoot is still by definition a family. They do say that. It was Tumblr. And also the trauma. <laughs> You've come a long way, Shriner. Whoa, epic. Swag. <laughs> oh, hey, you're good at explaining things, right? Apparently so, yes. So, what's going on right now? I'm not following any of this, to be honest with you. Are you... Norm's gonna kill Mayor Mingus. That is, unless she is, in fact, able to outleap a speeding bullet. In which case, she's gonna gouge his eyes out with her claws before he can reload. Huh. AO3 also didn't help. <laughs> Are you willing to just stand there and let this happen? Well? Huh? This is it. Speak up, Shriner. I should probably save, shouldn't I? <laughs> I saved too much, but it's fine. This is it. Speak up, Shriner. The ending of the story is in your lime-hued hands. Yeah. Alright. Here I go. Norm? Shriner, this ain't a good time. We can talk once I- Norm. The route diverging choice. Guys, what do we do? What do we do? Oh my god. What do I do? 
<laughs> Stop talking about your brain rot for five minutes. <sighs> what do I do? I mean, we're going to go back and do each ending, so it's fine. But what do we do first? What, what do we do with a good route? It's probably the backing down, right? I feel like... It's prob... <laughs> what, do you mean? What, do you, what do you mean we're talking, Shrine? This is my stream. <laughs> my lord. I feel like the backing down route is probably the good route, right? <laughs> Blue route, should I do that one first? <laughs> well... Stop having conversations. Pay attention. Pay attention to the movie. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Should we go with blue first? I feel like that's the good one, right? I mean, we'll come back and do the other one. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, stop it. <laughs> Don't shoot, please. Pardon? Do you seriously think I'm going to back down this far in our... I mean, in my journey. <laughs> but no, together we departed. Shriner, can't you see? I'm doing this for you, for all of Dalltown. This town doesn't have a hope in hell of surviving under that cat's paw. This town has survived the test of time, and that's precisely because of me. Without my grandfather's leadership. This town would have been nothing more than a glorified truck stop. That I've bided by time for long enough. When Paul Paul comes back, he ain't coming back. You're yeah, unfit to lead, unfit to serve. You're being retired, like it or not. Norm, don't do this. I'm not letting this 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 cat faced charlatan just take your only home away from you. Let her take you away from Dial Town. You really doing all this just for me? At this point, I honestly reckon I am. They all love me so much. It's incredible. I'm just, I'm so lovable. I'm such a lovable little scamp. Forget my grudge with the mayor for a moment. If anyone's earned its place in this town, it's you. Wait, how? I'm just a creature, Norm. I'm just a little guy. You don't give up on people. You didn't give up on me. Even now, you're still trying to save my hide. <laughs> Norm done fucked around and caught feelings. Listen, I'm just irresistible, okay? No matter what. No matter what. I don't care if I sound nuttier than that's... Than, I don't care if I sound nuttier than squirrel shit stating it. Downtown just can't afford to lose someone like you. If you're doing this for me... Can I ask you for just one favor? Please don't say. Please drop the gun. Time for all of you to do the same. It's too late. It's too late, you're already in. You've gone and done it now. <laughs> Trying to chill. She'll steamroll you. No, oh, believe me, I will. See? <laughs> yeah, you don't need you don't need to have sexual attraction. You just will be in love with me. Forever and always. And everyone will be. <laughs> Shh, I'm trying to save your hide here. She doesn't deserve mercy, Shriner. You don't have to do this. Except I do. You don't. You have friends now. You don't have to you don't have to go after all this is over. You please stay and teach me how to read. <laughs> we outnumber her. We'll stand behind you. That is, if you don't prove her right. <laughs> okay, you get the one opt out. Him is the only one. She, she does say that. <laughs> Shriner, this is your one shot, Norm. Like the game, to prove years of propaganda wrong. Your one shot to prove the mayor a liar. read that. I can't believe it. 
for years I dreamt of this moment and you just you just talked me down from it. I was also going to allow it here, me, it's fine. <laughs> You're your own man, Mom. You're showing mercy because you care about justice. Deep down, you know this shouldn't be your decision alone. This should be the people's. And I am the people's. Alright, alright, Shriner. Now I'm back enough. She's all yours. And now I will kill. Do you honestly think that telling your hick friend to holster his pistol changes anything? I am beloved by this town. I am the blood that th flows through Daltown's veins, just like my grandfather was. You have said. I am the most essential- I- Ooh. I- <laughs> It's getting to me, guys. <laughs> the fumes. <laughs> the, the, um, the paper I ate earlier. I am the most essential component of this backwater cesspit. An enforcer? No. A liberator. I thought she was say a liberal. <laughs> You couldn't dream of achieving even a fraction of what I have. Now I'm not just going to make Paul Paul remember who he is. Oh no. I'm going to make him proud, damn it. <laughs> Ooh, God. <laughs> Don't forget that I'm the one holding a gun here, Mingles. Ooh, God. I just like the ooh gun. You won't be for long. I'm going to display you out in front of the entire town. For the first time in your life, your bones are going to get to see moonlight. They probably have before. I got time. We got time. <laughs> shit, shit, this is a real pickle, innit? <laughs> if you talk like a goddamn British person in my company again, I will do everything in my power to give you a brain aneurysm, you know. Hey, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help sounding like a British person. You wanna know why, bitch? I was born and raised in the streets. Of the North. Fuck you. <laughs> person. <laughs> I may not be a person, but I am... I do have a British accent, which is... <laughs> what I need is a do sex machina, damn it. What threads are left remaining? What law hath remained unrevealed? The North. Compton North in it. The British aren't people. Hey, I personally am not a person. Can't speak for the rest of Britain, but... I don't know. Your backstory slash origin, perhaps? I was luckily born in a fast food restaurant ball pit while screaming. Dead end. Something to do with Randy, maybe? Randy died as he lived. Not relevant to any of this. Move on. Jeez, I don't know. Then. The rug you stole from Mingus's office? If I mention the rug, she will kill me with even greater haste. Here's my pitch. May I mug postcard? Ask to see it, then. Ask to, ask to see it, then. Quickly scarf it down like a loose slice of cheese and then book it while she's recovering? Gonna fade the black screen now. I'm not responsible for what you decide to do once your autonomy is restored. You're a corpse? Congrats. Congrats on coming out as a corpse. I'm so proud. Hey, before you kill me to fucking death with your gloved hands and such, can I see a postcard up close? What kind of troglodis... Trogl trogloditically... trusting tabby do you take me for? Give me... If I handed you the postcard, you'd likely just devour it like a slice of white cheddar. Well, okay. <laughs> Mingus, please. I would never. If you cannot tell the truth, then just shut up. I find it hard not to be devious, Miss Mingle. I am a mischievous scamp. Do you think she has paw pads? <laughs> she goes, yeah. She does say, yeah. And do you expect me to hand a family heirloom, nay, a family artifact, to any mischievous scamp who just so happens to ask? Ye. Yeah. Thank you for the performance, hear me. You must truly be a maniac if you think I'd part with a genuine surviving sample of my grandfather's handwriting. Handwriting? What? Oh, there's an old love letter scored on the back of the postcard. One my grandfather wrote for my grandmother back before the dial-up. But the most important thing on this postcard is the vision. His vision, seen on the front. That's Dial Town. His Dial Town. But I've heard both you and Norm speak about what Callum would have wanted. I've never actually heard Callum speak for himself. Outside of heavily reverberated hallucinatory snippets of dialogue, that is. 
I'm sorry. Actually, for what it's worth, I happen to agree with it, Missy. <laughs> they had to make new back in the day. They really did. Before the phones. Quite literally. For all the hemming and the harm we've done on the issue. We're both speaking for Callum. Wouldn't it be nice to hear what he has to say just this once? Even if it's not on this very topic? Look, I know what's best here. This letter and all that it contains is my family's property. I, I just think it's the intensive words. It's pretty normal. It's not stream elements. I think they would get caught anyway. <laughs> Good for him. My family, my birthright, mine. Read it, Mercy. Want to hear what it says? You can't make me. Actually, I can. I think it just needed re-allowing. Hand it to Triner, or I'll fire. If you want to know what it says so badly, why don't you just read it yourself then, huh? Actually, I can't read, so you probably better. If you're close enough to hand me the postcard, you're close enough to disarm me. Pass it on over to it. We'll give it back when you're done reading it, you know. I'll say you did. Go ahead, then. Shoot me. Just try. Mingus. All right, all right. One glance, then straight back. I can't read. Let me see here. It says... All right, I can't read. Yep, exactly as everyone else here can recollect. Trying to just hand me the postcard. I'm fine with you getting close. That was a plan after all. No, hold on. Let me try. I got a few words on the last one. Let me try to sound it out. Da dial town nine ten. Six to silks hot dog. That's not getting it. Hand it back before it devours it. Yum. Trying it for the love of all that's holy. Just hand me that. No, I can do this. I just need to imagine what he'd have written. I'm going into the brain space. Ugh. It's me. My dear mom. It pains me to be away from Dial Town. But I'm glad it's still a town of misfits, just as it was when I left. As the town motto goes, all are welcome here in Dial Town. <laughs> he speaks like a TTS. <laughs> a little. Huh. All are welcome here in Dial Town. Are you kidding me? Th that quote's out of context. It ain't. What part of all didn't you hear? Got you there, Mingus. No. No, I didn't. I didn't want to. You two were rogue, dangerous elements. I didn't... You just gave me... No other choice. Dear Lord, there's really no excuse in any of this. The audacity. You really reckoned you knew what your grandpappy wanted even better than he did, huh? You s they'll be saying you... S Ugh. She's also from Newcastle. <laughs> any wrong that I've done, I've done for Dialtown. He would have... Actually, Dartown is just Newcastle. Decided. He would have understood that I merely did what I had to do to save his vision. If he found out what I've done after I bring him back... I assume that was Callum speaking, considering we heard it, um... in the flashback before. I'm assuming that's Callum. <laughs> right? Mangus. 
This is definitely a hit to my formerly immaculate worldview. You could have just read the postcard at any point, bro. Am I... Am I a monster? I was gonna say, did she not, like, read the letter before? Yeah. This is a plot point. <laughs> Good lord. After spending so long on my own, unable to bring a plan lost of time, his vision to fruition, the words on the back of this postcard, postcard seeped away, leaving only the happy photo on the front. Oh, she just forgot. <laughs> she forgot about it. And once my last connection to Port Pot faded, I huddled around the only warmth I could still feel when I gazed at this postcard. My burning desire to bring him, his world, back to us. <laughs> Mingus loves her too. Yeah, I would explain it. I miss him so much, Shriner. But how can you miss a man you never really met? He lost his memory before you were born. I feel that in a way I have met him. Every time I see someone else make a call on their phone head or write using their typewriter head. Wait, no. Why am I... <laughs> the accent is fucking leaking. Every time I see someone walking with one of his prosthetic limbs. There's a tiny piece of him in everything around us. I see him everywhere. I just wish he could see me, too. I just wanted Paul Pot to tell me he was proud of me. Oh, she's got daddy issues. <laughs> accent wingers. It's a very leaky accent. It just it gets into all the other accents. Hey, now, nah, you've achieved a hell of a lot. The last time I saw him, he actually looked at me and called me Mala, somehow thinking that I was like my late grandmother, and he asked me if I'd do it all over with him if, if I was given the chance. I obviously didn't want to tell him who I really was, that Mama was lo no longer with us. Forcing him to re-experience that heartbreak all over again. <laughs> Magic MS. <sighs> I don't know if I want to <laughs> do that during the- okay, fine. Fine, fuck you. Fine, we're in Texas forever now. Forcing him to re-experience that heartbreak all over again. Only for it to be lost alongside his fleeting lucidity moments later. <laughs> he mistakes a car for whom? What? Oh, right, yes, I understand. I'm sorry. Where's the cat, his wife, in the photo? That's a good point. Why did he think Mingus was his wife if Mingus is a cat? Was the cat in the photo his wife? I'm a little concerned about the situation that is going on with Mr. Callum Crown. Pretty sus. <laughs> so I answered as if I were her, responding just as I hoped she would have. Yes, my songbird. I would. He stared off now content, his gaze slowly drifted towards the floor. And didn't say another word. No, that was that was recently. That was not pre cat head. She said it was the last time she saw him. I would have given anything to give him that chance, Shriner. A chance to make Pop Bob proud. Ma'am, for what it's worth, I knew President Crown and Recent mishappenings aside, if he were here right now, I think he'd tell you that he's mighty proud of you. You said earlier that that he would have hated me. Right, and you called me a monster, to be fair. <laughs> I'm happy to go back on my word in this one instance, if you are. I didn't mean to become the monster that I falsely accused you of being, Norm. I can control everything that happens in this godforsaken town. Style towns, roads, prisons, taxes, laws, the very public itself are all mine to puppeteer. For crying out loud, I commanded God today and he needs to respect my authority. <laughs> but the one thing I can't do is release Papa from his own head. Norm's gonna be our father figure. I mean, Daddy Norm, let's go. Well, Fairy Inch this town is entirely under your jurisdiction, then boy, do you have a mighty fine mess to clean up. After this fire goes out and these flaming critters are all rounded up and removed from the streets of downtown, you have to start slapping mortar on bricks. Yes. <laughs> yes, quiet. Norm, may I ask, would you know anything about construction? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I did roofing and bricklaying for a couple of years before I joined the Air Force. Oh god, he's a, he's a builder. <laughs> Why'd you ask? If this whole excruciating escapade has taught me anything, it's that I am surrounded by incompetent hacks. Now, I simply cannot trust a single one of them with the task of leading Belltown 
downtown Dalltown's reconstruction efforts. <laughs> what a man. What a, what a man indeed. You were a worthy adversary and one who perhaps almost bested me. So I can't think of anyone better suited to spearhead the effort of rebuilding my city. So what? You exiled me, tried to kill me, and now you want me to help rebuild the very town you threw me out of in the first place? Yes, yes. You pressed the gun to my head, effective moments after burning half of my city to the ground. You did do that. <laughs> We're out of Texas, thank god. In fairness, Fiero is mostly responsible for the ensuing Inferno. Look, I had dynamite. I'm lucky my face still has its signature skin on it. You see what I mean about the utter incompetence of my lackeys? Moron. And it goes without saying, Norm, that if you were to do this for me, you would naturally be granted a royal pardon and with it the freedom to live here in peace. I think you should just give him that. I think you should just give... It was wrong in the first place to exile him. You just give him that. <laughs> You're not the queen of Dial Down. Perhaps not now. But soon. I think we should have probably put it now. <laughs> so that means I get to stay with my new frit. I mean, yeah, alright. This is acceptable, I guess. You guys. You guys. He's a friend. He's a friend. Well, on one condition it is. Alright, stated. If I'm sticking around, I won't turn a, I won't turn a blind eye to injustice. Fire them two queer henchmen of yours and hey now. Hey now. <laughs> Your vernacular makes it difficult if you in, if you intended for queer to be strange or gay. <laughs> Why would you interrupt me to point out such a needless distinction for those two clowns? Apologies, continue. Is Norm homophobic? <laughs> no, it didn't hear me. How me as your new sheriff? No. What if I was to use... One second. I'm back. <laughs> I don't- it's not Stream Elements that does that, hear me. Stream Elements has no power over that. Okay, clown text. I mean, same thing. <laughs> what if I were to use one of my own guns, which means you could add the cost of my pistol and ammunition to your budget in order to launder a few hundred bucks and buy yourself some fancy schmancy sm expensive milk? What just happened? My dad came home <laughs> and connected to the to the German lady. Astounding. You're not even my sheriff and yet you're already cor corrupt. Yet? Well, yes, obviously I want the crime milk, the tastiest and most forbidden dairy product. I mean, it might be, but... It I don't, I don't really tell you, but it's my comforter. Good. First mandate is sheriff. We need to talk about some of your laws. You know, your particularly draconian ones. We can discuss them later. Alright, then I'm out. Good luck finding someone else to lead your construction effort. Guess you'll have to put little Billy in charge of the explosive you'll be using for the demolition of those burned building husks, huh? I feel like the fire is kind of a pressing issue we're not addressing right now. Oh good lord, I'd rather fake my own death and move to a roach hotel in Vegas than even consider that timeline for even a moment longer than is legally necessary. Fine, fine. I'll agree to one single change now, and we'll discuss the rest later. Lower your tax rate by no less than 25% for all citizens of Dialtown. Absolutely not. This town needs every cent allocated in the budget for its various ne nectaries and to fund my rigorous beauty regimes. Beauty rage. You're a cat. Cut taxes. 
You don't understand. Lowering taxes by 25% across the board would create a budget deficit of approximately $1 million. Which is for me to get that kind of money from, huh? What's your average yearly salary? Well, it's currently around $1 million. But fine, fine. I guess I'll eat nothing but baked beans for a year. Whatever. That's a mighty fine start, Caddy Wampus. I reckon that ought to even things out quite a bit. I, I'm not expecting you to hear me. I'm just saying I can't um, do anything about it at this moment because I don't know like why it didn't go through. Now that taxes and sheriffdom are out of the way, I only have one last question remaining. Baked beans and crime milk. Beans and milk is possibly the vilest com combination of options there. What about Shriner? No, who cares about... I care. <gasps> he cares about me. He's not homophobic after all. Let my green friend here run a milk and frolic around this fine town whenever it pleases. He cares. It ain't harming anyone with its tom tomfoolery. Tomfoolery. Oh, alright, alright. Fine, Shriner. Your exile has here been, hereby been lifted and you've been pardoned of the ex inexcusable sin of being your true self. <laughs> oh, epic. Yeah. Very swag. <laughs> you get to live in Dialtown in a house of your very own. Tent. And then an apartment of your very own. Tent. I'm not letting you take up valuable public space with a tent. Fine, fine. In a tent located in a secluded tent at the park. Oh, for the love of fine, in a tent at the park, then I guess. Fuck the house, tents, tent time. But you can't hurl lit fireworks at swans that wander near your tent anymore without paying the same fine everyone else does for causing illegal swan related explosive incidents, that is. <laughs> tent fit for a clown. <laughs> this is truly unworkable, Norm. <laughs> Shoot her now. <laughs> Shriner. Oh, alright, alright. <laughs> Wonderful. A new day is dawning in Dartown. I can feel it. That's probably spoken Hellation, but... We'll pretend it's the new day. Wow. Wow. So thanks for being with us today, Norm. After a years-long exile, you're back in Dialtown. That's right, Rachel. Hopefully for good this time. Riveting. Could you please enlighten us as to what you've experienced and learned since you're now recanted exile? Well, I'm an old soul. And boy, have I seen a lot. Just as much after the exile as before, I guess. Like it or not, solitude changes a man. Forces you to address a fundamental part of yourself that most people never even seen. But I find that abject misfortune tends to either totally break or make a man, you know? Plus, I guess it wasn't so bad being alone for so long. I had good company. Fascinating. Is there anything you'd like to say to the residents of Dialtown in the spirit of moving forward? No profanity, please. Why, yes, there is. Look, I spent many years stewing in my own acrid juices. Wretched imagery aside, I know better than anyone that a caustic heart consumes its owner. When society itself has transformed you from a man to an outcast, made you out to be a monster, it can be difficult not to become the very monster that they claim you are. It can be difficult not to prove them right. I came close to doing just that. But someone saved me. A green messiah who ended up teaching me more in one day than my bitter mind had conceptualized in years. When you say green messiah, are you talking about the goblin who lives in a tent at the park? Well, yeah, I am. Looks can be deceiving, you know. Just as I was misjudged, they've been too. Really? How so? What did they teach you? Their lessons gave me a multitude of epiphanies. Taught me that my happiness is in my own hands, and that nobody else is going to ensure that I live a happy life. That I'm good just as I am. That I shouldn't change myself for the sake of being similar to other people, but instead, Seek a future where I'm the best version of myself, not the person the world expects me to be. But most of all, my watermelon-hued friend gave me hope. 
something I lacked for a long time. I didn't know how badly I missed it till I felt it again. And you know, the funny thing is, is someone like that, someone so strange and whimsical, someone who barely resembles a human, so different and spurned, could hold such inherent wisdom and contentedness. Maybe there's hope for me after all. Maybe for all of us. Maybe things can get better. Maybe we can make the world brand new again. Inspirational. Norm, thank you so much for coming on the show. I just have one question for you before we sign off. Where is your green friend? Could they not join you here today? Oh, I'm sure they have a very important event to attend. <gasps> the monster form is kind of... <laughs> I have wisdom. I have great wisdom. Egg. Guys. 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 My babies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're repulsive. <laughs> Just like their old man. <laughs> I hate every single one of them. Especially that one. <laughs> this was a waste, damn it. This has all been for naught. Oh my god, my babies, I love them. I love each and every wretched one of them. <laughs> what horrid creatures. The heads represent each root. Oh, I see. <laughs> I love my horrible, awful children. Dogman. Oh, the the pet the, the violin guy was the composer. <laughs> Being British, it's sinful. <laughs> That's cool. No derogatory dog man. We'll see it. Great sin, truly. Yeah, that was cool. Villager? <laughs> I don't think they're all British now. That was a noise. That is a noise for sure. We're going to enjoy the credits, because this is a very good game. <laughs> Brip day. This was a very cool game. This was a very cool game. You know what? It was actually very sweet. Despite the chaos. <laughs> See, that one's not British. <laughs> we will go back and see what the shooting route is, by the way, so. Bigfoot for war. Hmm. I was like Norm's voice sounded familiar. I don't know if Ryan Sims has been in anything that I've seen. Hmm. 
Who's me? It's Dogman. Dogman is the creator of the game. Okay, we in credits. We will go back and look at the uh, the other option, <laughs> which is obviously not the official route, but okay, we can skip. This was a very nice game. I really enjoyed it a whole lot. It was extremely funny. And also a little bit sweet. Most of it was funny. <laughs> like, almost all of it was funny. All of it was funny. <laughs> I miss Oliver. <laughs> I want to see my boy again. How was RPG Maker involved? They didn't make this on RPG Maker, did they? Because if they did, that's scary. Oh, the final screen. Here, I think that's a you problem. <laughs> a, a whole lot of who's and has were had. Oh, that's cute. The squad. Well, that was fun. It was fun, you guys. What is the creature at the bottom there? You know what? I'm I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, that seems like a you problem. Imagine having a kidney. Couldn't be me. I, I do have a kidney. Well there we go, guys. What did you think? That was great. That was such a good game. That was very cool. You know what, we are gonna go back and look at the other option though. <laughs> Because I want to see what happens. <laughs> it's the narrator? I don't think I've got that, no. I don't even know how to get to that. I feel like I've got a lot of endings, and I, so there's still like a few to, a few I haven't gotten. I've never seen that guy. We can, there's a narrator route? Anyway, let's do this first. Oops, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Same route, guys. Am I staying in the tent? Oh, we can try that. We can try that. Actually, maybe not today. We're a little short on time today. Maybe if we have some time in a different stream, we'll come back and do a few more. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alternative ending. Don't miss. I won't. Ah, the blood. I... I can't. I'm calling Peter. <laughs> How'd you do it? I leapt. What, like a bullet? You... I don't understand. I practically flew with you still. Well, here's the thing about houseflies and horseflies, Missy. In the middle of bump up nowhere out in the sticks, lousy with them. I've had some merciless, mercilessly swat and unmerc an unmerciful amount of those little varmints. If I wiggle my head, it helps. Often without a swat or two. The blood. The blood. And let me tell you, if you do something enough times, you get real good at it. The trick to catching something that flies, bullseye. You don't shoot where it is. You shoot where it's going. I'd demonstrate a second time, but to be honest, I don't think there's a bullet swift enough to catch what's left of your soul on its way to hell. Oof, that's a good line. Good riddance, Mayor. 
so it's done. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Funny. Me not having much to say in anything new, but usually you're far more talkative than y'all now. I just saw you shoot someone, no? I guess you just did, didn't you? Just me, or were you feeling like things were working up to something a little more epic? A real finale, you know? Suppose I reckon she'd put up more of a fight, is all. I think she wanted to, man. You kinda shot her right in the heart. Shot to the heart. And you with that talk of being faster than a bullet, I guess, uh. I was kinda hoping that she was, so her demise would feel earned, you know? I just felt like putting down a sick animal. Putting down an animal is how you described it before you did it. So I met you, I hadn't thought much about the moments after I finished off the cat, save for my plan to save a second bullet for myself and wrap us all up nice and neatly. Didn't see a single reason to stick around for I met you early on today. <laughs> bon Jovi did get there first, to be fair. Which means I'm back at square one, asking myself, so now what? The city I hated most on fire and my foe's dead. She told Dowtown I was a violent gun wielding savage and I proved her right by shooting her dead. <laughs> Do the pink decks, okay. We'll, 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 we'll gaslight gatekeep kill boss. But I won. So why ain't I happy? <laughs> I do want to say the top one though. <laughs> I do want to say the chicken nuggets one, I'm sorry. I kind of guess like Gabe Cube's girl boss. That always cheers me up when I'm sad. This is an existential anguish, Shiner. Shriner. Chmikin mm, Nuggist. Isn't that what you wanted, Norm? He didn't think it through. She told the world that I was a monster. <laughs> I am mentally a crap. No. But hey, now that she's gone, you can stick around if you wish. With her gone, the only people that'll be around to claim a monster will be your pals. Yeah, I don't think sticking around would be a particularly wise move for me to make given that I just shot this town's leader dead. Okay, yeah, that's not a great look, granted. Was she right about me? Did I just prove her rat? Maybe Fezzy was talking sense all the way back. Perhaps I could have just bargained. Proved I was more than just a monster, you know. Man, this really sucks. She's fucking dead, yo. Ribbon bees, bro. I just can't make sense of it. <laughs> yes, exactly. What kind of sick god would possibly decide for me to go through with such a callous deed knowing it would lead to a rotten ending for the both of us? That would be me. Oh. <laughs> Guys, okay, come on. <laughs> well, oh, Mingus is in hell, we know that. Not you know me, new does Nemesis Mingus. The ending where you encourage Norm to shoot Mayor Mingus and learn absolutely fuck all about friendship or forgiveness or whatever. Beautiful. Beautiful. F to Mingus, I guess. F in chat. F in chat to send Mingus to heaven. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Yeah, I think I don't think we have enough time to pick up any of the other little random endings we missed. Mainly because my voice is absolutely dying right now. Oh, there are extras. What are the extras? No, oh, they're like character sheets and stuff. That's cool. Anyway. Hello. Welcome to the screen. <laughs> well, that was really fun, guys. Oh, I enjoyed that game a lot. That was very cool. We finally threw it. We finally freed ourselves from dial down and it was very cool and very fun big props to um to dog man <laughs> i'll see if they've done um, any more stuff it was very cool 
pattern on the right side is slightly off center. It is centered, it's just because everything else is slightly in different places. Trust me, it's centered. I had lines. Anyway. Well. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Um, that was very cool. I guess, I don't know. I guess we have to pick a new game to play next week. <laughs> That'll be interesting. But yeah, very much enjoyed. Very cool. Very cool. Right. Fix your shirt. What's wrong with my shirt? What's wrong with my shirt? <laughs> Get rid of the safety pins. They're meant to be there, bro. They're there, <laughs> They're there intentionally. Look. Me stitching. It's meant to be like that. It's fashion. It's on purpose. Anyway. So. I guess I didn't say at the start, but you can enter the giveaway by doing exclamation mark and giveaway in chat. You can only enter while I'm live because I have not got a proper setup for it. You're not fashion. <laughs> Safety pin drip. That looks banging. The style. The pin. The panache. There we go. That's a word. You can't nap in a shirt like that. Watch me. Also, who naps in their clothes? Just put a t-shirt on. <laughs> Why would I be napping in this? Anyway, uh, enter the giveaway if you want, but you can only do it while I'm live, so I'll give you a second to think about it. <laughs> um, and let's go see who we can raid. Let's go have a look. Of course I get changed to nap. I want to be comfy. Also, I don't nap, so... It doesn't really matter. Let's see who's about. Okay, there are some people playing Dial Town. Okay, we are gonna go. I don't. I sleep. If I go to sleep, I'm sleeping. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go raid. Uh, Lex Bone, who's also playing Dialtown. So, you know the drill. Go say hi. You know. You know the drill. <laughs> uh, and I will see you guys on Saturday. Raid message? I'm gonna come up with raid messages. Raid message can be, uh, uh, oh god, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, the raid message can just be raid, I think that's fine. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not funny. You know what, Krungus, let's go with Krungus, that's a good one. Raid message is Krungus, alright. Oh, they have a follower chat on. Never mind, we're gonna raise someone else. <laughs> we don't do that. We don't do that here. Uh... Okay, but instead we're gonna go raid his cursedness. Same thing, they're also playing dial down. Um... You know the drill. Yes, hear me, I can see I unraided. I did that on purpose. There we go. Farewell, my friends. I will see you later. Have a great evening. Goodbye.